I want to be your daddy. Oh, everybody's Help been turned on. Out. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Hey, Fluffy, have you received my package at 123 Face 3 yet? I received the package between your legs instead. Oh, oh shit. That's the one he was talking about, though. What do you mean? No, I, I used to be a professional package handler. Mm. Mm. And then I took an arrow to the knee. Guys, I tried to crush up the feta that I'm putting on my pizza, but it just mushed in my hands, and now my hands are covered in feta, and there's none on the pizza. Are you feta up about it? I'm up feta feta. That's a federal crime. Oh no. <laughs> I've got feta hands and no feta pizza. Oh, this is feta I hope you feel <laughs> I hope you feel feta soon. <laughs> it was a good one, I, I like it. I like that, yeah, that was way better than anything I said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, we're here to play the last part of the trial thing, finally. Sorry, we had a power outage, so that's why we started a bit late. I was a bit depressed because I thought we weren't going to play at all, but it's okay. We're here now and that's what matters. Man, <sighs> Tuesday comes around so fast. It does, and I love it. So you want to hear something kind of funny? Nice. Yes, I always want to hear something funny. I had you and Bromi muted, and I was like, Iko, do you hear them? I don't hear them. Cause oh. Aww. Is... <laughs> Iko said no. Oh, man. Sad. She's, like, she's like, no, no, you fucking, you have to unmute them. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Trouble shooting for, for this boomer and millennial skin. <laughs> ah, you're right. <laughs> you are fine. To be, that. Fair, to be fair, Zoomers are apparently really computer illiterate now, too. Kyrie, yeah, cause... Really? Kyrie's I'm a little bit old. Yeah, I was well. reading this thread, <laughs> and, like, there were, like, her, like comments here. on, like, people not knowing how to save their documents, and, like, not knowing how, how to copy and paste, and... I had to because teach all they know how... is iPad Fortnite? Could be. I had to teach someone how to export a PDF to a Word doc today. Oh, oh. fun. Guys, I found more feta. Yeah. I'm like, oh, not yeah. using what a floppy disk is. Sick I know what a floppy disk is. <laughs> that's, that's floppy, all I gotta do is look at you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what we gonna do? On that note, let's, that <laughs> let's start the game. The I'm, I'm ready. Like floppy disk. <laughs> look, I don't know much about floppy disks, but I know about a good hard drive, you know? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got that external D. Yeah, know it, baby. External D's nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we're going in. Let's we're going in dry. Let's go. Fight the pillow, bitches. I'm the pillow. Fight the pillow. How did I get into this mess? Oh, it's, it's uh, oh, it's dark side Phil. Oh. That's far enough. Me. You can't run forever, Mr. Phoenix Wright. This is supposed to be you, by the way, Bromie. Well, then, then let me speak. No, no then what the tell fuck me. is this fever dream? What? what have I done wrong? I cannot allow you to go on like this. Huh? But, but I'm just a simple defense attorney. Silence! You are no longer worthy of your title. Uh, uh, Riku, save was, me. You are not high enough level to take me on. <laughs> 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 I don't have enough gym badges I've to train this, this judge. I've had this dream before, some place, <laughs> some time ago. As if this Everybody. day was written into my destiny. Today I'll stand in court as a lawyer. To prove a killer innocent. <clears throat> the gavel went straight on your dick. March 23, 9.43am. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Dun, dun. I have a quick question. Yes. Who designed the soup the right emote? Because that's fucking awesome. I did. That is well, so cool. Well, all I did was uh, put my avatar face over Phoenix's face. It turned out so good, though. Oh, thank you. you. <laughs> I'm just going to let this tune play. Tell me you play too much Phoenix, right? Hello, this is Phoenix Wright. You don't look so well, dude. You're gonna prove me not guilty today, right? <laughs> if you please, Mr. Lawyer. Remember, it's not just me. 
your precious friend's life is riding on today's verdict too. Now listen up, you'd better get on guard a guilty sentence, okay? If you get that creep slime bag, a not guilty, I'll never forgive you. Ever! Oh, yeah. It's totally Edgeworth. Nah, it's definitely hair. Hera. You should do it as Edgeworth just because it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> just keep the form here. Which, 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 which? Is which, it? Is it, I think which? it's Mia. I'm pretty sure it's Mia. Feeny! Mia! Oh my god, I actually got your voice right this time. Maya! How's Maya? I don't know. Don't know? She don't know. She don't know. <laughs> she hasn't tried to channel me since yesterday. Mia, what, what am I supposed to do? Well, like I said, for a lawyer, the worst of times are when you have to force your biggest smiles. But, but... You can't give up. There's still some hope left. Stop it, please. There's nothing left. Not here, not anywhere. <laughs> oh, it's had a curse on God again. Will you leave me alone? Look, don't call me anymore. I mean it. You're really mean, pal. <laughs> ah, Gumshoe! I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Where are you? Hey, let me join the investigation team, and we're chasing after the killer, pal! <gasps> then, then you have a lead of some sort. Sorry, but right now we've got zero leads on the guy. But we're not gonna give up! Gumshoe. Until the trial's over, until the verdict is handed down. We're gonna do everything we can to find a killer! If we can get my out, then you can get on guard the guilty verdict he deserves, pal! That's true. I could do that if they found Maya first. You got that? So you have to do whatever you can to make the trial last longer! I have to make the trial last longer? If you go at Mr. Edgeworth with everything you've got, then you two can draw it out! Oh, now I get it. I believe in you, pal! You and Mr. Edgeworth can do it! So, believe in us. We're gonna give it all. Give it all. We've got just like you. Got it. Thanks, Gumshoe. Believe in me that believes in you. God, Gumshoe. Roll, such a roll. Player. Fight the power. <laughs> Yours is the drill uh -huh. that will pierce the heavens. Hello. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> you understand now, don't you? You have something money will never be able to buy. Friendship. It's the strongest weapon in the world and you have it in abundance. Yeah. Sure do. The power of friendship. We are. Looks like we we're are. coming to the end. I have to make the trial last as long as I can. Gumshoe will come through. I know it. If he doesn't, I'm going to fucking slay him. Anyway. March 23, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Oh my god, I can't believe we're here again! <laughs> we're back, baby! Court is now in session for the trial of Max on guard. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> the prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. Now, as I recall, we concluded yesterday's session with a big mystery on our hands. The mystery being what exactly was Miss Adrian Andrews' role in this murder? That is to say, is she really connected to the crime itself? Mr. Edgeworth, if you would please inform the court of today's proceedings. Adrian Andrews. Sorry. <laughs> Very Next informative. Line, please. <laughs> oh, line. Kevin. Line. <laughs> Next slide on the PowerPoint, please. <laughs> she forged evidence that threw suspicion onto Mr. On Guard. And then proceeded to escape the crime scene by wearing a nickel samurai costume. The guilt of these actions are those from which she cannot escape. 
Hmm, then you're saying that she is guilty after all? I am not finished, Your Honor. Miss Andrews has nothing to do with committing the actual murder. I would like to direct the court's attention to this card. What is that? It looks like a shell. This is the calling card of a certain assassin. A uh, assassin, you say? Yes. Juan Corrida was killed by a professional assassin. And the person who hired the assassin, his client, so to speak, is Matt on guard. What? What a surprising turn of events! I would think it's become commonplace by now, Your Honor. I know what's going on this time. So I know that everything Edgeworth <clears throat> said is true. But we still have to hold out as long as we can. At least until Maya is safe and sound. I wonder how the trial will turn out today. Now then, please call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls the defendant's mentor, Mr. Will Powers, to the stand. Now then, witness your name and occupation, please. Uh, okay. I'm, uh, Will Powers. I'm a poor, underpaid action star. And what is your relation to the defendant? Well, that's... I guess I'm sort of a lousy mentor to him in a way. Yeah. Um, Mr. Powers, please. You don't need to put yourself down so much. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, I'm just kind of a nothing sort of guy. On the night of the murder, you visited the defendant's room. Is this correct? Y yes. I, I didn't know that. Um, but, you know, I didn't actually get to see Matt when I went. All you need to do is answer what you're asked. Now then, I would like you to please testify about when you went to Mr. Ongard's room. Uh, okay, sure. After the awards ceremony, I went by myself to Matt's room. Matt was standing there in front of his room, still in his nickel samurai costume. He was talking with someone. At first I thought it was the bellboy. I watched the two of them for a while, but then I gave up and went back. I had guests with me that night, and I couldn't make them wait for me. Hmm, nothing sounds out of place in Mr. Power's testimony. And talking with the bellboy is no big deal. If one assumes that the person Mr. Ongard was speaking to was an ordinary bellboy... What? What are you implying? Well, Mr. Wright, let's have your cross-examination, shall we? Like we're in another sticky situation. Huh? A trap. Can't you smell it, Phoenix? But for us to find out more, we're just gonna have to charge in Ooh. head first, right? Mmm. Oh, Rotten eggs. Quick, <sighs> drink expired milk. Ah, oh, yes. My perfect remedy to spiciness. You fed Come me not first, I can't help it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the defendant's room? Why did you go there? Well, I'm his mentor, like a big brother, sort of, and I wanted to say congrats. What? What's wrong? Why did you stop? M m mr Wright! What, what is it? You... You're going to try to trick me into a corner, aren't you? Huh? I... I know I'm just a poor, underpaid action star, but... But I... I'm not the killer! Um, n no one said you were, Mr. Powers. <laughs> no, please, don't trick me! 
Every time you do your lawyer thing, the witness suddenly turns into a bad guy. Every time? The witness... He has a point. <laughs> <laughs> I will personally talk to the defense at a later time. Oh. For now, please kindly cooperate and continue with your testimony. A am I gonna get a pay cut like Gumshoe? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow Gumshoe still makes it more than more than you. you yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sheesh. So you went to the defendant's room, and then. Hey, wait a minute. When did how and I did I suddenly turn into the bad guy? <laughs> Are you sure that was Matt on guard? Yeah, I'm sure. He wasn't wearing the nickel samurai mask then. If that's the case, then he really can't be mistaken. And Bork. What was the defendant doing standing in front of his own room? At first? What do you mean by that? Well, he was in a bellboyish uniform and he had a bottle of juice on a tray. Sounds like an ordinary bellboy to me. Um, yeah, but... Hear a dog. Oh. Snickers yeah. is like, don't do it, Will. He's gonna incriminate you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you, boy. Give us a sec. One. Snickers. Snickers. Buddy. I think we should fill this dead air by discussing the, um, the color purple. Sorry, we're, uh, attending to a dog. Give us a sec. <laughs> the color purple! We're going! Wow. Well, I didn't purple, think he was purple. a... Okay. Sorry. No, you're right. I didn't think he was a normal bellboy. And why was that? Um... Why did I think that, Mr. Wright? Uh, how am I supposed to know? Sorry, but I can't remember right now. Sorry. Guess I'm gonna have to wait patiently on this one. Holy. Saw the two of them, the bellboy and the defendant, together, correct? Yeah. The bellboy just wanted to say congrats. Now, while you were watching the two of them, did you notice anything strange? Um... You know, I did feel something weird. I think it was because Matt, well, he gave the bellboy a tip. A tip? But that's a perfectly normal thing to do. So, how long did you watch the two of them? Uh, no more than a minute or two, I think. these guests you're talking about? You guys, of course. You and Maya and Little Pearl. I thought it'd be really rude since I invited you guys, if I disappeared on you. So I went back to my seat pretty soon after seeing Matt in the hallway. This is like squeezing water from a stone. Probably pointless to press further. Do you remember this incident? Did Mr. Powers leave his feet that night? I don't remember that happening at all. I was making such a racket in her hyper state, I ended up focusing on her. I see. In any case, from his story, he probably wasn't gone for very long. At first? What do you mean by that? I didn't think he was a normal bellboy. And why was that? Um, why did I think that, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? Hey, wait a second. Actually, Mr. Powers, only a few minutes ago you stated... Um, you know, I did feel something weird. I think it was because Matt... Well, he gave the bellboy a tip. 
Could it be that you felt something strange about the tip giving incident itself? Just the tip. There was the ah! Tip. Yeah, that's it! You really know your job! Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth! Yes, Your Honor. This bellboy, he wasn't an ordinary one, was he? Perhaps we should let the witness tell us. Very well. Mr. Powers, please amend your testimony. You mean about the bellboy, right? So he gave the bellboy a tip. What's so strange about that? Ah, uh, well, you see, that's not a poor old penny pincher like me. I was trying to figure out how much it was because the tip really shocked me. How much it was? But that's when something even more surprising happened. The bellboy was putting the tip he got in his pocket. And that's when I got my first good look at the guy's face. I was really shocked. Hmm, I'm afraid I don't follow at all. It sounds like Mr. Powers was surprised twice by this event. I wonder which of his shocking moments I should ask about. Want to know more about On God's Tip, if you know what I mean. The defendant is a huge star. He can afford to give generous tips, wouldn't you agree? Um, sure. But giving him that much was maybe a little too much, I think. A little too much? Would you please clarify for the court? About how much would you say the defendant gave the bellboy? Honestly, I don't know. I can't even begin to guess. And why is that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and why is that? <laughs> oh, oh, very good. Why is that? Oh, why good. Is that? Very good. Very good. <laughs> Very good wad of cash, yes. Lemons <laughs> for an assassin, very good, very good. <laughs> Wait, that hasn't been revealed yet, you're spoiling it all. Three cash <laughs> full of dollars and blow. But, but, but uh, script reading ahead is... <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> because he gave the bellboy a really, really fat roll of cash. A roll of cash? Ah, well, how interesting. That certainly was a very generous tip, wasn't it? A very fat roll of cash. That can hardly be called a tip, your honor. We're talking full on shaft. Hmm, cash money. The judge is beginning to look awfully suspicious of us and our shaft. <laughs> the defendant is a superstar. That kind of tip is typical fare for people like him. And <laughs> typical. <laughs> are you saying that all superstars are super spenders? If I could receive large rolls of cash by simply bringing people things on trays, then why on earth would I stand around here prosecuting? He's got a point. I don't even get paid, let alone rolls of cash for all my hard work. Because his dad was a lawyer. Pig Latin, what the fuck? Wow. How do I even, do, I even do that? I don't know. Um, you oink a lot. <laughs> Ix nay. Mm. Oink. Party a. Party hoss. Party hoss. Dory me. Dory me. Just a solid point. At the end of everything. Oh, God. <laughs> Incredibly. Incredible. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Bernie. <laughs> Etiam. Etiam. <laughs> I'm Pepper. <laughs> this is Dad. I like Peppa Pig and just did a line. I'm Peppa Pig. Just fucking snorts coat. Correct. That's why her nostrils are so big. This ain't a fucking oh. good show anymore, bro. Did Doesn't you guys? Make sense now. Did, did you all see that if you Google Peppa Pig's height, it's like seven foot something? <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> That's, That's terrifying. Right. Which makes the dad at least like the over fourteen feet as well. Oh, so he's a Game of Thrones character. <laughs> he's a. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> if you believe yeah, that one theory, yeah. Oh, wow, what the fuck? Seven feet, one inch tall. You're actually right. So Daddy Pig is 14 feet, two inches tall. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. That is terrifying. What a man. Monstrous, <laughs> monstrous people. Daddy Pig. Oh, what a man. That sounds like the size of a character that has his own boss music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Anyway, sorry, Bernie. <laughs> Please continue. Hmm. So, supposing that roll of cash was not a tip, what the then what shot. was it? Payment, Your Honor. <laughs> Payment. <gasps> you get paid. Yes, it is. God damn it. <laughs> Am I the only one in this courtroom that actually gets paid? Am <laughs> I the yeah. only person in this courtroom that actually gets laid? Also, yes. Isn't it obvious for why the murder of Mr. Juan Corrida? Smashing mad poon I am. <laughs> <laughs> then... Then the bellboy the witness saw. Yes, he was the assassin. Hold your horses now, Mr. Edgeworth. You don't have any proof of this, do you? Have I ever been unprepared to support my claims, Your Honor? I can't remember. My memory's not that good. Then I'll answer it for you. Yes, I've always been We'll <laughs> <laughs> be back in a sec. I have here the card Shelley the Killer left at the scene of the crime. Shelley the Killer? Yes. Let's just improv until he returns to push the next button. <laughs> it's a nice card. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm back. I Is enjoy that it. Is that salmon? Shelly to Kelly. To Kelly. He is the person the police's special investigations team has been chasing for ages. I am certain that the person the witness saw was this very assassin, Shelly the Killer. But really? He could have died. What's wrong, Mr. Powers? No, nothing. Something just clicked in my head, and I think I just figured something out. Oh? Actually, I saw that bellboy again later on that night. What? Nani? Mr. Powers, please testify. Tell us what you saw. Nanata. Hi! Onigashimas! Dies of cringe. Nani! What? Onigashimas! Sorry! Fucking <laughs> stop it! What the fuck? <laughs> this time, I was in that hallway because I had to go to the bathroom. And then when that bellboy I saw earlier came out of the room. I led that into a question, but it didn't end up that way. <laughs> of course, when I say room, I mean Juan Carita's room. Now that I think about it, that bellboy did seem kinda out of place. Yeah, so he had to be the assassin, I'm sure of it. I mean... <laughs> I mean, okay, you're gonna leave it like that again. Okay. Thank you very much, that's all we need for now. Huh? But I'm not done. Still more. Let us first establish that the bellboy is truly Mr. The Killer. Then we shall see. Hmm. So the bellboy came out of the victim's room. And if that bellboy really was the assassin, then I think the answer is fairly obvious. Oh, that would be correct, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright. I believe it's your turn to entertain and make us laugh. <laughs> ah, this is no laughing matter! <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> muted, and then I pressed to unmute, and then I muted myself. Ah. Uh, uh, See, you're already a streamer. Again. Old habits die hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what time was it? Ah, uh, well, I don't remember. The award ceremony ended around 8 p.m., right? And I went to Matt's room pretty soon after that. And then I came back. And then I went to the bathroom. 
So I guess maybe it was around 8.10 p.m. by that time. You're not one for details, are you, Mr. Powers? S sorry. I thought if I could maybe catch Matt and say my congrats. Are you sure it was the same bellboy? Yeah. And how could you tell? All the bellboys wear the same uniform, after all. Well, you see... Well, he had those stitches in his face. Yes. So I'm sure it's the same guy that was talking with Matt. Hmm. So which room did the bellboy come out of? Victim's room, huh? Yeah, the one with all the really pretty flowers and teddy bears. It was Juan's room, all right. I cannot describe how screwed I am. Hmm. Let's continue with the testimony, shall we? Um, so what exactly was so out of place about it? Right, right, right. Why the insipid grin? Maybe because I have no idea what damaging thing he's going to say next? Um, well, the bellboy was empty-handed. Empty-handed? That bellboy was one of those room service people, right? But he wasn't pushing a cart, and he wasn't holding a tray, either. You'd call that a little strange, too, wouldn't you? Hmm, I agree that it is a bit strange, Mr. Powers. Is it really that unusual for a bellboy to be empty-handed? What should I do? Should I let Mr. Powers' testimony slide, or...? Try to pull a fast one should be the option for every action Phoenix takes. <laughs> there is nothing strange or unusual about an empty-handed bellboy. But there really, really is. There really, really isn't. If you two are done being school children, bellboys are for room service. There is no reason for them to be empty-handed, ever. Your Honor, I ask that the witness's previous statement be supplemented with this new one. Ugh, Edgeworth. You're gonna do whatever you can to make the bellboy look suspicious. I see. Very well. This court recognizes and grants the prosecution's request. Mr. Powers, if you could amend your testimony, please. He yes, sir. Fucking got you now, boy. I think yes. <laughs> Double checks guide. Double checks guide. <laughs> got you. Take that, Mr. Powers. Y y yes. Go easy on me. You did it, didn't you? You're the killer. Ah! Uh, I'm just kidding. You're easily you influenced by other people's words. Away with you? This. <laughs> As soon as you heard that the bellboy might have been the killer, you got caught up in believing it must be true. But, but, isn't he really suspicious? He's got all those stitches and, and... So, a baseball has stitches. Are you saying all baseballs are suspicious because they have stitches? Oh, oh my God. Well, there's also, I mean, what about him being empty-handed? I would like to ask the court to please take a look here. This is the crime scene. There is a wine glass sitting next to Mr. Karita's body. The liquid inside this glass is tomato juice. And now, if you would look at what is on top of the table in the lower right corner here... Anyone can clearly see that there is a tray with a bottle of tomato juice on it. The bellboy had just brought this to Mr. Karita's room. He left the tray in the room, which is why he was left empty-handed. Ah, but, but... That would mean that the bellboy had seen or left a dead body in the room. Ah, but can you prove that Mr. Karita was already dead at the time? Oh, uh, Mr. Edgeworth! I didn't think so, Your Honor! <laughs> yes. I, I blame you for leading me down this route. 
What the fuck? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. What is with him? Why is he laughing? Witness, isn't there one more thing you would like to share with us? Uh, is there? The bellboy was empty-handed. Or should I say empty-hand-id? I recall you had something interesting to say about his hands. Oh, yeah! I almost forgot! Huh? What? what That bellboy! He was wearing gloves! Gloves? Yeah! Pitch black! Leather ones! Sexy! <laughs> what kind of gloves I want around my neck? Oh. <laughs> bad touch, bad touch. <laughs> that can be arranged. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Fraulein von Karma. Nine. Uh, <clears throat> all the other bellboys don't wear gloves like that, right? Black leather gloves. Why didn't you mention this earlier? So, sorry, it slipped my mind. Oh boy, does this make the bellboy look really suspicious? Alright, gotta focus. I can't get Lex here. So what if he had gloves? A lot of bellboys wear gloves. Come on, Mr. Wright! That bellboy is wearing black leather ones! So? A football is made of leather? Are you saying all footballs are suspicious because they're made of leather? Oop! I got him. But that man, he received a large roll of cash from the defendants. And then he was seen leaving the crime scene wearing black leather gloves. I don't think that even someone like myself can believe he was just another bellboy. Uh, Phoenix is getting all his arguments from Reddit. <laughs> it seems that we finally have come to an understanding. My sources, I made it the fuck up! Now then, witness, please continue with the rest of your testimony. Rest? Oh yes, please tell us more. Okay! <laughs> okay! Hooray for enthusiasm! Okay! After leaving Juan's room, the bellboy went and knocked on Matt's door, just like that. He gave something to the person inside the room. Then the old guy just left, without even going into the room. After that, I went to the bathroom and went back to my seat. So the bellboy, after leaving the crime scene, next went to the defendant's room. Yeah, I kind of saw that all by myself, as an accident, with my own eyes. <laughs> I don't know, what I, I was seeing words there that weren't existing. Some accident? I'd say you saw too much. All of it was suspicious to high heaven. Mm, are you sick? <laughs> <laughs> Judge does look like he's sleeping, to be fair. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. If I wear these glasses with eyes open on them, no one will suspect the thing. <laughs> uh, I would like to direct some everyone's attention to the court. Yeah, <laughs> the cardboard cutout and go take a nap. No, I, will never. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that we can no longer consider this bellboy to be normal. That's oh, fucking cringe. Now then, let's get started, shall we? Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Oh. Let's see who's gonna win the battle royale. We got Wizard, Soup, and Corrine battling for the victory. Oh, oh fuck, I'm totally gonna win. Yay. Anyway. Oh, no. No one wants to see me win, it's fine. Yeah, look at me go, bro. You got me cube. Wow, oh, you cube, Morty. You fucking murdered them, man. I can't fucking, believe you did. It's so rigged, I'm sorry, guys. I just, <laughs> my, <laughs> my... My Kerbos are better than yours. Post advantage. <laughs> Is that what you saw while you were busy spying? Excuse me? I may be a poor, underpaid action star, but even I wouldn't stoop to spying. Sure. Well, I think the point is, where did you watch all this from, Mr. Powers? 
Oh, um, the door of the bathroom with my left eye. It was sort of sneaky spy like. I knew he was spying. Please, does it really matter if he's doing it over or underhandedly? Yes. What did the bellboy do next? That's all I care to know. I'll underhand you in a minute. I said, hold it! Um, okay. It's a very hot pot of coffee. I need you to hold it for me. <clears throat> That's better. What kind of statement is that? Please elaborate and give us a few more details. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Mm, I should probably ask him only one question at a time. So who took this something the bellboy handed off? Um, actually, I don't know. What do you mean? I'm sorry, but I only saw the person's arm. Only an arm? And you're saying you didn't see the person's face? Yeah. Well, it's Mr. On Guard room, correct? So it could have only been Mr. On Guard himself, I'd say. And then, what did the bellboy do after that? Oh, so after he gave the person inside the room the thing... Then the old genie gave something to the person inside. Da -boom. Da -da. Then the old guy just left. Where did this bellboy go after he left Mr. Ongard's room? Mm -mm. He opened the door to Viola's room. Hall. Oh, wherever the fuck that is. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> went in there, and who knows after that, right? I do. Not me, flubbing my lines. The Wonder and Paul. Underpaid <laughs> actor. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see. I said hold it! Um. Okay. I got like a tire iron I need you to hold this time. <clears throat> That's better. What kind of statement is that? Please elaborate and give us a few more details. Oh, um... Okay, what am I to do with this tire iron? Hmm... I should probably ask him only one question at a time, and I really don't know why I gave him the tire iron, honestly, yeah. but... That reminds me of a story. When I was working in a uh, petrol station in Devon, in an undisclosed location. <laughs> it was about three in the morning, and a gentleman walked in. He grabbed two tire irons, he looked at me and the other person working, and he said, I need these. And then he left and started a fight across the street. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that definitely sounds like undisclosed that, <laughs> that, And then about sounds... two hours later, a female police officer walked in and handed us three tie irons. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my choices. That sounds quintessentially redacted. It was... I did point out that the, one of them wasn't ours, but I did agree that it was probably best to be in our possession rather than... <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Fair. Wow. Jesus Christ. He gave... When a mommy tie iron and a daddy tie iron, love each other very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just gotta iron things out. FBI, open up! <laughs> <laughs> He gave something to this person? Yeah, a little something-something. If you know what I mean. <laughs> and what was this something-something? Something-something. Fire iron. Ha! Ha! If I remembered what it was, I wouldn't be calling it a something, would I? You said something-something, not something. I was something, bluffing. Something. I was bluffing. <laughs> Mr. Powers, you're guilty, aren't you? Guilty of lying. Guilty of being a sexy man. But this implies that something was removed from the scene of the crime. Your mum. This <laughs> 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 court finds Soup the dog guilty. <laughs> Take him away, boys. <laughs> I regret nothing. Are you sure you really can't remember, Mr. Powers? Um, I think it was something kind of small. 
I would like to summarize the testimony up to this point, if you don't mind. Edgeworth's had enough. Objection! When the bellboy left the crime scene, he immediately went to the defendant's room. There, he handed a small item of some sort to the person inside. As for the person who received the item, all you could see was the person's arm. Yes, yes, it was just like that. Mr. Edgeworth, is all this really that important? Of course, Your Honor. I think it's of the utmost importance. This is when whatever was removed from the crime scene was handed over to the client. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm, there's a ghost floating around in here. <laughs> it's been summoned by me. <laughs> <laughs> you fiend! Mr. Powers, it was Edgeworth in the courtroom using a ghost. <laughs> That's my guess for clue. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Please, try to remember what it was the bellboy handed off. Um, well, let's see. Hmm, I think it was... No. If you remember, please add it to your testimony. Yes, sir. A wooden statue, huh? What was the point of that pre pre what? <laughs> that is an actual term. <laughs> what was the point of that pregnant pause? <laughs> Pregante. Where did that objection come from? Well, speak. Are you pregnant? Uh, it was me, Your Honor. I'm Pregante. Are you, Are you three months preget? <laughs> three months preget. Can you get Perganti? Uba. Uba. So I needed the observer once again. Yes, it oh. would seem so. Uba. Cost the one second I get up to take my pizza out of the oven. I'm sorry. No, pizza's more important. <laughs> it is a Make sure you're fed and watered, please. Uba. Smug Feeny. I what care is it? about your well What is it, boy? Mia. What is it? Is the barn on fire? I have a feeling <laughs> something bad is gonna happen once I show this. Uh, I am unmuted, oh. right? Yes, yeah, you are, are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just talking over you. Was Sorry. There a, was there a voice redeem? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I was thinking, I'm like, wait, did I miss it? <laughs> all good, all good. <clears throat> Please don't redeem that voice. I cannot do it for long periods. <laughs> Mr. Wright, if you have something to say, please spit it out. Yeah. Okay, Your Honor. Phoenix, deep breaths. Mr. Powers, there's something you saw. Was it this item? Oh, hey, that's it. That's the something. Oh, wow, Mr. Wright, you really figured it out. Bring a sword? Oh, okay. Hmm. I recall we found this at M Matt Ongard's mansion. At the d d defendant's house? What does this mean? It's simple, Your Honor. Shelley the Killer assassinated Juan Corrida in this room. And then he stole this wooden bear from the scene of the crime. Then, the bear being found at Mr. Ongard's mansion would mean... It goes without saying, Your Honor. Mr. Matt Ongard is the killer's client. Order! 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 I said order! Mr. Wright, this is a most unfortunate turn of events for you. Yeah. Sorry, Mia. No, it's all right. Your judgment was sound. Actually, I figured the bear would come up. If not now, then it would have later on. Even if you hadn't shown it to the court, I'm sure your friend Edgeworth would have. Ah, uh, almost forgot he knew about it too. Hmm. 
I think it is clear that there is no need for us to continue this trial. I can't let this happen. I have to do something. There has to be something we've overlooked. Your Honor, a minute, please. Y yes Mr. Wright? There's still a few points left we have not fully explored. What are you trying to pull? The wool over your eyes, brother. Oh, well, we can't have that. All right, Mr. Wright, what questionable point would you like to explore further? Hmm. There was one thing in Mr. Power's testimony that was very unclear, and that is the identity of the person who received the bear. He gave something to the person inside the room. I'm sorry, but I only saw the person's arm. As long as we don't know who it was that took that bear, we cannot be sure of- Ah! Did your, did your hair turn gold for a moment, brother? Huh? What, are saying? What, what is it, Mr. Powers? If you're going to scream like that, then at least give us a good reason why. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Actually, so, I remembered. Um, I remembered who took the bear. Wh what? Really? I mean, I only saw his arm. But, but, the arm. It was the Nickel Samurai's arm. I swear it. You've got to be kidding! Are you sure of that, Mr. Powers? Transmat yeah. firing! Yeah, I'm sure it was the Nickel Samurai. Order! Order! It looks like you've dug your own grave, yet again. How many times is that today? I've lost count. So the person who took in this little bear was the Nickel Samurai? And, as we all know, Matt on guard is this Nickel Samurai. Thanks to the defense, we've made that all the clearer. What am I supposed to do now? Mia, help! You don't have time to act lost. You've got to find another angle to attack this form. Hurry! Now, I will bring this cross-examination to... Your Honor! Again, Mr. Wright! We've already removed any and all questionable areas of this testimony. It's about time you were removed from this court, Mr. Wright. That's right. Fuck off. <laughs> I have to find something. Even one more little point will do. There are... There are still questions left unanswered. What are you trying to prove? Oh. Your balls. Well, we can't have that. All right, Mr. Wright. What questionable point would you like to explore further? I can't... <laughs> Help it feel we've been here before. I think it's fairly obvious the bear itself is questionable. The bear, Mr. Wright? The bear and the maiden fair, Your Honor. This was found at Mr. Ongar's mansion. However, Mr. Ongar was arrested at the hotel that night. Which means that since the murder occurred, he has not had a chance to go home. Oh! I think Your Honor has already figured out what I'm trying to say. It's not possible it was Mr. Ongard who took this bear to the mansion. Well, why? That's very true. We didn't consider that point, Mr. Wright. It's because you're dumb. I am dumb. There was no way, time-wise, for the defendant to have taken this bear home. Phew. Disaster averted it. <sighs> You haven't gotten the best of me yet, Mr. Wright. Huh? I remember it clear as day. I remember what you muttered to yourself at Unguard's mansion. We have this area completely surrounded. There's no way for him to escape. Oh, no! I can't believe it. That butler, all this time, he was the killer. The killer and on guard were working together, so to speak. And the killer was hiding at on guard mansion. 
as its butler. What? What a bold move! The bear figurine was brought back to On Guard Mansion by the killer himself. When it looked like he was about to be arrested, On Guard had him do so. I assume because it would have been a bad had the police found it during their investigation. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, you have been quiet for a while now. This is too much. Isn't there anything I can attack at all? I think we've heard enough. We now know why this bear figurine was at Defendant's Mansion. As well as who it was that received the bear from the assassin in his room. Everything has become very clear. The client who hired the assassin to commit the murder was Mr. Matt on guard. I see no reason for this trial to continue. Therefore, I will now hand down my verdict. Thank you, Your Honor, for your understanding. You see, Mr. Wright, you could not win against the truth, could you? I knew it would turn out like this way. After all, what Edgeworth has stated is the truth. Any last objections, Mr. Wright? Well, do I? What should I do? I just won. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I will now announce my ver- Fuck you! There's only one way for me to drag this trial out. The only thing I have left, this is the one dirty trick. Your Honor, I did it. Your Honor. Right now, we have these two reasons to believe my client is the assassin's client. Assassin. It's a lot of clients. Assassin is a very bold professional, have you know? Reason number one. <laughs> he accepted the bear figurine from the assassin. Reason number two. That very same figurine was found at On Guard Mansion. However, it's possible this is all the work of a certain other person. What are you saying? What I'm saying is, it's possible a different person is to kill his real client. The real client? Yes. Tisk, tisk. Is this all you have? Fight me. I will. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your theory. Back is car park, don't... Duckle Nusters. <laughs> God damn it. Bring me at the car park, I'd back. Bring your boys. <laughs> Who do you say is the killer's real client, and therefore, the real murderer? Obviously, Pearl. Makes sense. Ooh. Oh shit, wow, you really went there. Adrian Andrews? Yes. We already knew that she tried to frame Matt on guard for the crime. By wearing a spare nickel samurai costume. Ah! Then... Then the nickel samurai's arm that I saw. That could have very well been Miss Andrews. But... What about Mr. On Guard? If you would please recall yesterday's testimony. The defendant was taking a nap during the break period. That's right. Then, finding this figure at Mr. On Guard's mansion... It was a well-laid trap set by Miss Andrews. Mr. Edgeworth, what is your opinion on this? I can't even begin to count the flaws in the defense's logic. Besides which, there is no evidence to support it. However, I can't fully discount its possibility, either. Hmm. What is with this trial? What the fuck? Kangaroo court! This is to save what Maya. This is to save Maya. Even if the whole world turns against me, me up, this is one find I can't give up on. Order! 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 All disruptive parties will be forced to leave the courtroom. Make me! <laughs> <laughs> Gods, fuck them up! 
<laughs> it was excessive yeah. pause if you must. <laughs> Your honor. <laughs> Bottom text. <laughs> God damn it. Your honor, society. <laughs> Reliving it. <laughs> For the benefit of the defense, I'm willing to play along with his what if game. His what if game, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Marvel's critically acclaimed what if. Which console? Uh, on the Wii. <laughs> Based. I mean, it's pretty fitting for the time period. Let's be honest. <laughs> you played a part of this too, man. <laughs> it's you too. You have done that yourself. <laughs> The front section of the challenge of the defense is there. You sure he has the composure to do so? <laughs> Not yet. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you have a new must have thought. It's strange and wonderful. Why would the criminal want this little wooden bear? He's right. Killer did specially bring that bear to On Guard right away. Why do you ask? Is there something special about it? Absolutely. And I'm sure that once the court knows its significance, the true killer's identity will become crystal clear. Your Honor, the prosecution calls upon a witness who will clear all doubts against Miss Andrews. And who would that be? Your mum. My mum? She's 170. Yeah, we go way back. <laughs> it's quite simple. I met her at the round table. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, Miss Adrian Andrews herself. She was there when the dinosaurs died, you know. Yes, I was Not there. Not the... the deep magic to me, which <laughs> I was there when it was written. I see. Damn straight. Well then. The court will take a short 10 minute recess, which is perfect because I would love a cup of tea. <laughs> yes, I really need to take a tinkle in the men's. Smart guy can't. Smart guy. <laughs> All right, let's grab, grab, grab your LGMs and let's go have some lunch. Recess. Yes. Prosecution. LGMs? Wait, LGMs. Oh, LGMs. What, are, what are they called again? Those little. L anyway. LCM. LCM. LCMs. Fuck. LCM bar. LCM. Hey, Gauzy. Little cum man. <laughs> <laughs> Little cummy man. <laughs> Little cummy. <clears throat> Did you the see the meme I popped in chat? <clears throat> yes. It's the prosecution beautiful. will prepare its witness in that time. Yes, your honor. Based. Yeah, we're running out of bits and I uh, can't remember uh, my password for Twitch on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys seem to take, 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 take a quick break. Just pretend that I redeemed Discombobulate. <laughs> discombobulate. Um, uh, yeah, I might just vibe here actually while I'm waiting for you guys. Do, 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 do. If, it, right. if it weren't so late into the game, I would have made it so it was animated, so it was Pearl floating through space, so you could like put it in your like wait times whenever we have a break. That'd be so cool. I might do that. Yeah, just like oh. Pearl's yeah. just like in the death realm. <laughs> but it's like it's got like elevated music. <laughs> do 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 do. Do 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 I'm gonna go have a smoke I'll be back. Dun 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 Thank you. Thank you for listening to my performance of Elevator Music. I was gonna say, are, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm so done. I'm put, stick a fork in me, I'm done. Okay. Yeah. That can be arranged. Hmm.
<gasps> Fork me. That's a wild weird. happiny. It's way better than Centrelink hold music. Anything is better than Centrelink hold music. Let's be honest. Centrelink hold music is the worst. Bro, are, you saying, are you saying distorted classical music is bad? Bro, why is it that every, like, hold music is just fucking deep-fried audio? Everything's fucking bass boosted to the wazoo. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> why, why can't I just have, like, a nice, relaxing melody in my ears? Why has it got to be like... <laughs> why is all the music bass? <laughs> Look, it would be bass if I could have bass music in my bass ears, but it's not going to happen. Bottom text. And discombob your bass. Discombobulate. Centrelink hold music is better than Telstra's hold music. Aren't they like the same? Because they're just as shit as each other. Let's be honest here. Be perfectly, intimately honest. Intimately. Is it worse to own a telco or unemployment benefits? Which is the more stressful of the two? They all suck. They do, but uh, I feel like Centrelink is more stressful. I th I feel like you're more stressful. Oh, you I don't know? want to be stressful. No, I don't want to be stressful with people. I'm sorry. How can I be better? Don't, don't pay any attention to me. I'm just moody and tired. That's okay. <gasps> oh, I no. caught her beauty! Oh my god, so did I. Fuck it, now we can be happy yes! together. Yeah. Yes! Never had to put up with Telstra music for eight hours, so I'm pretty biased. Actually, you know what? Yeah, fair. Telstra lies and tells you your call is important to them. <laughs> uh, biggest lie ever. Any company that says that is just like... Ace. Did you just blow me? What the fuck? Ace. <laughs> 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 I do believe I've had my nape blown. Nape, is that? I don't know. My god. What? Speaking of blow, I want to get some from my... <laughs> Holy guy. shit, dude, my hapani's <laughs> jacked. I want to get some. What the yes. fuck? What are you guys... Ah, stop Check... blowing me! Check your hapani stats. Check my hapani stats, okay. Because mine's fucking... nutty. Dun dun. That's fucking. Uh, hold on. Dun dun. Nutty. Hold on, you just. God, uh, hold on. Let me, let me have a look at my happy weenie. Happy weenie. Uh, mine is fucking garbage. Mine's have... got good, average, horrible, and then three fantastic. <laughs> okay, mine is just horrible, bad, fantastic, horrible, bad, good. Sucks to suck. Well, sucks to Yeah, exactly. Sucks to suck. <laughs> sucks to suck. Talking about blowing you? Look. All warfare is based. All warfare is based. All warfare is based. Sun Tzu. Art of war. Speaking of war, I want to pick up God of War. I'm going to buy 11,500 bits. Damn, son. That's a lot of bitties, man. I'm not going to do that. It's like $300. What's some big old bitties? Big old bitty 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 bitties. committee. We love big old bitties in this community. Big That's old true. bitties. Big old bitties. Big old bitties make the boys pretty happy. Mm. Well, I must say, I'm more of a posterior man. That is Big based. old bitties keep the brothers pretty based. Centrelink is possibly giving you money. Telstra's always taking money from you. Mm. Mm. That is a fair point. It's a very fair point. But then there was the whole robo debt thing where they were just taking money from random people, so yeah. Speaking of debt, try and guess how much money Qantas is in debt to people owing them refunds. Oh uh, yeah, I'd I'd imagine a lot. They, they owe me do... a pretty penny for fucking up my flights. They even do refunds? I thought like the whole thing was just like, hey, uh it's all your fault, fuck you, we're taking your money. Coke. No, I, I specifically asked for a refund. And they're like, we'll process it and let you know. And it's been yeah. like a month and a half now, so. Yeah, I remember uh, when I was at my previous job, my boss was trying to get flights booked and she needed to get them changed because she was going for an event and it got moved because of COVID. She needed and, to get um, flights booked? What? What? You said blight. Blight. 
Right. No, her blights. She's. She needed to have blights booked. She's she afflicted. Needed blights booked. She's she was red. afflicted. No, um, but she had to get them booked. The and uh, <laughs> when she went to go get them changed, they were like, "All right, cool. We'll swap it over to this one." And then they charged her card five times for them. Holy fuck! And took like five grand from her credit card, and it was just like, bruh. Sounds and it pretty took, fucking accurate, it sadly. Took, it, it took a few months for her to actually, like, get it reversed, because they were just like, oh, yeah, the flight's still unpaid, so we're just going to, like, put the put the funds through again. And she was, like, telling them, no, that's what the last person told me. You need to stop doing that, because you're just taking money, more money from me. They're yeah. actually dumb, I'm convinced. Yes. You know, well, on the bright side, at least they pay tax. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Alan Joyce has to pay a cent of tax. I'm pretty sure he's going to have an aneurysm. Taxes for poor back. people. Yeah, Taxes for poor. It's a poor people problem. Yeah, so it fines. You must become a billionaire for him. Yeah, jeez. So, just so crimes. Just crimes. go crimes. own a church. Crimes sick of poor people. You're sick of renting? Just buy a house, bro. It's easy. That's what I did. You're sick of having financial <laughs> trouble? Just try being rich, bro. It's not hard. Yeah, just get a fucking... Oh. Just just ask your parents for money. Yes. Step one, ask parents for money. Step two, profit. Easy. Just keep your head down and work hard and you can achieve anything. Pull yourself up by your bootstrap, son. That's what I had to do in my age where I'm fucking, I can buy a house for $2,000. My daddy was partner at the law firm and he got me a job, but I worked really hard, okay? Fucking nepotism. Anyway, we all back now? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's dive headfirst into my story. <clears throat> I mean, dive headfirst into your pantaloons. Oh, yes. Dive headfirst into my pantaloons. I will. March 23, 11.50 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. <laughs> Evil man. <laughs> Evil devil man. Oh, I knew it was a good idea to hold her hostage. Don't you agree, Mr. Lawyer? But I never thought in your desperation you'd try and pin the guilt onto Adrian. Ah, oh, I swear this demon will pay. Oh, hey, Pearl. Oh, shit. Mr. Nick! P Pearls? Where's Mia? strong power suddenly called her away. A really strong power? Phone! And, and who was phone? And who was Bromie? Oh, Mr. Nick, your phone is... It's from Gumshoe! Will you leave me the hell alone? No, I'm kidding. How's it going? Have you been hanging in there, pal? Y yeah, sort of. We just barely found something to latch onto. Phew, that's good, pal. And what about you? Anything yet? Have you figured out where Tequila and Maya are? Um, ah, we still don't have any leads, but... What? We don't have any more time! Have we just had one? Even a single clue would be really helpful. Y yeah I was only able to come this far because I kept thinking to myself keep the trial going until Maya's been rescued. But have I just run out of luck this time? Is all our hope for naught? This is Mia. Mama Mia, Mama Mia? Mia? Yeah. A tent! Huh? A tent? I could see a circus tent! M Mia! It looks like Maya was unconscious until just a minute... I uh, just... 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 <laughs> Just a few minutes ago. It's okay, Mia. Life is hard. We understand. So is death, apparently. Me. <laughs> oh, it was right. Maya that called you away. She's walked in a dusty little room right now. But I could see a circus tent outside the window before, about about 300 feet away. Gumshoe! Is there a circus in town right now? There's only one, pal. The very big circus. 
Maya's somewhere with- Wait, did you say Barry ba Oh what? my god. Oh my god, guys. I think it's called a callback, pal. Now carry on. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. Maya's somewhere within a 300 foot radius of the main tent. What? what? Okay, hold on a sec, pal. Hey, you want a circle on that map? About 300 foot radius around the main tent. Hurry! And? And? I could see a mailbox under the window just outside. Gumshoe, there's also a mailbox. Hmm. Okay, what else? What else, Mia? I'm sorry, but it was a very small window. I couldn't see anything else. It felt like I was in an old office building. Maybe the third floor or so? I heard her! An old office building! Good stuff, pal! Okay, just hang in there! Just a little luck, pal! We just little... Good luck! I'll call you later! So don't let your battery die, okay, pal? Mia! Mine's not hurt, alright? She's in a pretty bad state, Feeny. She's being starved. I'm sure. Please hurry. Looks like we're out of time. Are you all right, Feeny? Only a matter of time before Maya's rescued. I can do this. I just have to make this trial last a little longer. March 23, 12.05 p.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Court will now reconvene. <clears throat> a declare of the man who murdered the victim handed this to his client. From this one obvious question arises, why this particular item? I believe the answer to that question will provide us with the name of the real culprit. Now then, the prosecution calls the defendant manager, Adrian Andrews, to the stand. Currently, the witness is accused of tampering and obstruction of justice. However, you have been called to the witness stand today to ascertain exactly who... Same. Same. It's crazy. I was looking at the words and other ones came out. Yours, see? It's not just me, man. Exactly, is guilty of murder. It's oh, not that's easy, it was me. No! Oh, oh. well, shit. <laughs> no, I understand. <laughs> Fuck me. Now, have you ever <laughs> seen this bear before, Miss Andrews? Of course I have. You have seen it before? That's right. It's only natural that the witness has. Miss Andrews, could you please enlighten the court to this bear's secret? Alright. Why? Why does she... Actually, this is an elaborate puzzle. If you know the correct order, it can be taken apart, one piece at a time. At its center is a small cavity with just enough room to store a small item. Because of its complexity, if you don't know the order, you can't open the bear. You really can't tell that it's a small jewelry box just by looking at it. So this figurine is a container of sorts, is it? Yes. Looks can be deceiving, wouldn't you agree? Yes, this is superb craftsmanship. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Looks like there was... the... the... fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> right it's, now, Mia. It's, ah! contagi oh, it's oh. contagious, isn't it, the words? Blood they just keep falling out. <laughs> Share the same Freudian slip. <laughs> <laughs> Just a group fever like dream. Honest to fucking god, man. Woo! Pass the voice actor brain cell. It's my line. It looks like there really was something that to that bear after all. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Almost as if he could fail with this. Oh, witness me! I command a recess so I may die of cringe. <laughs> you will carry the bin necessity. Forgive me, mother, for I have cringed. <laughs> a puzzle? That's right. Hmm, but it looks like an ordinary figurine. True enough. To people who don't know, I'm sure they would never guess this was a puzzle. So what kind of puzzle is this exactly? So you can take it apart, and how would one go about doing that? Well, you first turn its tail to the right, and then push it in. Oh, yes, I see. After that, the arms and the legs are free to move, and can be removed. Oh... This is most... interesting. A boy and his new toy. It's like he's five all over again. Back in the Elden days. Hmm... It goes here and... Uh... Oh! Don't mind me. Go ahead and carry on. I think he's lost it. See, the same way you deconstruct that bear is the same as the Konami code. <laughs> Up, <laughs> right, down, left, right, A, B, start. I got you see, what do you, do you find after you take the puzzle apart? It's my dick in a box! Fuck off! I've missed the elegant, that's box. stupid. It's dick, dick in, in a box! box. <laughs> and how do you know about this? I know, because I was the one who bought it. Huh? It was a souvenir from when a friend and I went to Switzerland. Then this... This was a present from you? That's right. It was a puzzle in the shape of a bear, so I thought it would be perfect for one. So it was a present from Miss Andrews. Witness, let's continue with your testimony. So who exactly knew how to solve this puzzle? Only the two of us, Juan and myself. It was a souvenir from Switzerland. So I doubt there are that many people with the same bear in this country. But this looks like it can be easily broken. Shit, I don't have any water. Thank you for the hydrate though, Goop. I'll get something soon. Good work, Goop. Keep this man in check with his hydration. <laughs> oh no, it's the Mimic! No! <laughs> I need water for this one. Sorry, Permy. <laughs> Almost as if we didn't you... have a break before. Full <laughs> squad hydrate. We're all a part of this stream team right now. Everyone do you... I think I'm just going to stay here while you guys are <laughs> break. I will go grab water, guys. I'll be back. Vibe amongst yourselves. Y'all get your sippy? Yeah. He, he going. Uh, I need a, a sip sip sound off, please. <laughs> Quick, I'm gonna get the grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh good lord. Delicious. Yes. This is why I hang out with you guys. Because <laughs> 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 we're weird? Is that why? <laughs> Alright, what you all been saying about me behind my nothing, back? This nothing. unhinged shit, Everything. as per yeah. usual. Uh-huh, okay. Grapefruit sounds. Yeah, <laughs> for himself. Pretty much. His group oh, like, Yeah, the man speaks the true true. I'm just gonna <laughs> add a stream marker so I can go back and clip that later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All yours, Bromie. Especially if someone wanted to get at what's inside. It's Kyrie. Kyrie is inside me. It's Kyrie, isn't it? <laughs> Kingdom of Hearts is Mary? dark light, dark She's dark light. way too young. No, 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 no. She is a baby. Well, it's a toy. A limit but it can never be the beast. same again once it's been broken. Just like me. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Who else? <laughs> Shit. Uh... Who else knows that this bear is actually a small container or jewelry box? I never told anyone. And as long as Juan never told anyone either, then only the two of us knew. Just the two of us. Two of you, huh? And of course that means Mr. Ongar didn't know, right? 
think this is about all I'm gonna get for now. It's not what I sound like, fuck you. The green <laughs> upgrade in the court record. I'm trying my best, alright? I know, I know. <laughs> Rarely, Mr. Wright. Terrible impression. No. <laughs> I don't think that even you have come to realize. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that there is one very important fact we have uncovered, and that is this. That there is actually a jewelry box. Hmm. Now that we have agreed to this point. There is only one logical question that can come next, and that is this. What is inside this box? What's inside? My penis. That's right. <laughs> That's what we are going to find out next. Witness? Yes? You are the only one who can open this. Please. It's a penis, just as I suspected. Oh yes, my penis. There's a painful silence hanging over the courtroom. All eyes are on Miss Andrews now as she solves the puzzle and takes the bear apart. There's the pot. And it goes in the hole. I've opened it. <laughs> yeah, my golf club Half of the course. Anything. Is this what you wanted? What? What is that? It looks like a... Note. Oh shit, guys, what could it be? It's the lyrics to a song. It's a Rick Astley song. Crawling the in entire the skin. Movie It's a suicide <laughs> Yeah. I don't think we need to guess at what that is, do we, Mr. Wright? It's the Navy SEALs copy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the first it's draft. It's Orion copy pasta. Oh, no. What the it's... fuck did you say to me, you little shit? It's the suicide note. The suicide note. God, Question I mark. I, I forgot I did that in Edgeworth's voice. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the serious note left by Juan Corridor's former manager, Celeste Impex. Until now, no one knew of its whereabouts. But just as we suspected, it was hidden. Yummy water. Hidden by the victim, Juan Corridor himself. It seems Celeste Impex had very beautiful handwriting. And she just as beautifully signed her own name on this document. This is most definitely the note she left right before she committed suicide. Yo, Edward's kind of a dick. Yes. You only found that out now? Well... He's... But he can't be, he's hot. Based. I can My... fix him. <laughs> the, the most favorite conundrum. I do terrible things, but get away with it because I'm attractive. <laughs> Old charisma. Yes. <clears throat> uh, order! Witness! Did you know about this? Yes, I did. I heard all about it from Juan. When I discovered his body, I looked for the bear. I wanted to destroy the note before it became public, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Because it had already been taken by the killer. Everything is going at Mr. Edgeworth's pace. So now that the suicide note has been found, what's the next logical question? What is written on the note? That's right. At least that's what I would think. Now then. I believe that it is only appropriate that the contents of this note be made known. Well, I can't stop you, can I? I went through so much just to get my hands on it. And I was going to burn it. For her sake. I'm deeply sorry, but I can't allow you to persuade me to stop. Your Honor, if you could please read the contents of the note aloud. Very well. Judge's voice rang out and clear through the deathly silent courtroom. In her note, Celeste Impacts left us all a record of what happened to her. About being used and then thrown away by On Guard, 
about being engaged to Corita and on God's role in destroying that. About how she decided, in her despair, to end it all. Holy fuck. And that's all Ms. Impacts had to say. There is one thing I would like to say here. The prosecution has no interest in slandering Mr. Ongard. Then what? Our intention, Your Honor, is, a, is to establish a motive for murder. Isn't that correct, witness? Yes. On the night of the murder, Juan was going to make the contents of the note public. After the post-ceremony show, he was going to hold a press conference. My word! Matt on guard values, above all else, is refreshing like a spring breeze image. Which is why he had to stop this note from being made public. At any cost! Celeste's suicide note added to the court record. It's on God's fault that woman killed herself. He's a dickhead. And that this time he went so far to kill someone to stop him ramming. How terrible. He's like, what a lock him person. up. Give him the death penalty. I guess there are some more lawyers out there who are creeps too. Mate, this isn't the cricket ground. I'm lost. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> he was addressing me. Daddy, I mean, Daddy? Uh. 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 I can still hear the screams, Papa! Don't make me whip that old bag. <laughs> you know, she'd be in that crowd. My edgy wedgy! My edgy wedgy! Oh, edgy poopies! <laughs> I'll say the light, Edgy, say the light! <laughs> there is no room for down here. Ah, you said it! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. He could literally say anything and I would board over him! Mr. Tequila's oh, client's girl was to obtain this suicide note. Edgy Poo! Oh my god, can you make the crowd shut up and distract them? Oh, Edgy Poo! <laughs> <laughs> and the only person who needed this note that badly is the defendant. Let's not forget that the bear was, a, was with fucking... <laughs> the bear was it. <laughs> Let's not forget that the bear with the note inside was found at the defendant's house. Hearing Mario All-Stars in my head. Hey, now you're an All-Star? It's a goal! <laughs> to me! It's a me, Chris Pratt. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. It seems that we have come to the truth at last. It seems we have come. Seems. <laughs> <laughs> it seems Thank you all for your come. <laughs> oh God! Anything for you, Judge. Girl. <laughs> 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 It seems the time has come, and so have I. <laughs> Fun fact, his beard is My just God. gone. My God, the judge is horny on main. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get a group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah talking like that for some reason until you press the stop. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. I know the visual group means, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the defendant's motives were entirely selfish. He deserves no sympathy from anyone. How am I supposed to escape from this one? Why the hesitation, Feeny? Gumsu hasn't called yet, so you know what you must do. I know. I have to carry on and buy him some much needed time. Okay. There are two deadly pieces of evidence the figurine and the suicide note. Maybe somehow I can find a way out of this situation through one of those. <laughs> the Gumbu is already in the judge's hand. Phoenix, hurry! Suicide note or the figurine? Which one of these should I pursue? Or no. Or no. The defendant. I say you pursue a relationship, you lonely bastard. Wow, that's crazy. 
We need just because it's Quinn's doesn't mean it's not Quinn. what? Please wait, Your Honor. Hold it. Oh man, yeah. look at that lawyer. He's still, He's still, He's still going, going in. Oh my god, what a Jesus. dickhead. It's like he doesn't care that he's trying to get a call. It's just like, I hate lawyers Who gave that him? guy a lot of lies? I think, think, think Your Honor believes that Matt On Guard killed in order to obtain this note. Y'all think the judge is attractive? Because I think the judge is attractive. Yes, that is correct. That <laughs> I want to run my hands well, for that. That seems a little strange. In <laughs> fact, I, I think there is a contradiction oh. here. Yeah, shut the fuck up, see. Gallery. <laughs> oh. I want to sit. Wait, what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this note was hidden by Mr. Karita until the night of the murder. If that is the case, I say that Matt Ongard could not have known what was written on this note. Oh! I didn't think of it that way. That's because you're dumb and old, exactly. <laughs> oh! But, but I did think oh. of it that way, and I thought it was rather strange. I am bluffing. <laughs> no one in their right mind would kill for a note without first knowing what it said. Boy, is a fucking scumbag still trying to defend this guy. Oh my god, can you believe it? Order! 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 You, you make a valid point, Mr. Wright. You're damn right, I do. Mr. Edgeworth, what is your opinion? It was just a flash, but I think I did rather well on this one. Unfortunately... I think he believes differently. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my line! Now you see why I mix you up so often, it's just... <laughs> oh, honestly. See, on the record, I would like to state my B. <laughs> my <Lord>. be your honor. <laughs> In my defense, it has me on screen. Wait <laughs> <laughs> differently. Oh, shit. All right, as you're now, my dear. I believe I saw a piece of his daughter. Floppy, 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 floppy. I, I wish to direct your attention to the to the lower middle half of the screen where it says Edgeworth. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I love you, buddy. I'm sorry. I think it's only fair that Hera has this line. <laughs> That's yeah. fair, one for one. One for one. I believe a show of appreciation is in order. Turn to page 394. Uh, huh? The defense seems to be in love with wishing more to spare upon itself. <laughs> Yeah, I prefer to I would like to direct the court's attention to this. What is that? Camera? It is a very camera. small video camera, Your Honor. Oh, that's that mine! I don't want that going mm. on my butt, that looks big. It's the colonoscopy camera, guys, it's fine. He was uh, just getting a prostate exam. It's commonly used as a means of spying. <laughs> spying someone's prostate. See, up until <laughs> now, Your Honor, I placed it on your chair. Ah! Oh, how dare you! Spying! What the? I thought that spy camera was in my possession. Slight of hand. Oh. Hail the Scottish. Oh, alrighty then. Matt on guard and the victim both brought of the other. <laughs> Matt on guard and the victim both thought of the other as their biggest rival. They even went so far as to use this type of item to find each other's weaknesses. And? The victim, Horan Korida, was being spied on. His personal life was being watched by none other than Mr. Matt Ongard. Order! Order! <clears throat> Mr. Wright! Ah, uh, yes, Your Honor. You... Don't tell me you knew about your client's spying activities! Well, uh... What? Sort, of, sort of. Sort of is not an acceptable answer, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I see you are confused, Mr. Wright. I help myself in my confusion. You're probably thinking. I have the camera out there to stuff the brace I... Explains in Scottish. <laughs> this I have is not the same one. Last night I searched the victim's house on a hunt. 
And then I went and had brunch. You got a port and, and you didn't know it. Brunch. Using this. I'm um, she's a bug sweeper. Oh, by the way, Mr. Wright, the defendant's fingerprints were found on this camera. Matt on guard's fingerprints were on there? Bloody. Well, Feeny, it looks like those cameras were hidden all over the place, huh? What am I supposed to say to that evidence? I think this is the end. Oh, the so guide the says there's still a whole end. other part to this. Oh, my good. <laughs> Clearly obvious that Mr. On Guard learned of this suicide note through this. He was watching the victim all along. He got me good this time. I don't have anything to counter that. Hmm. Wonder what I should have for lunch. Yeah, yeah, I think I might have a wee jammy sandwich, eh? Hey. Mm. I'm gonna start perspirating for no reason. Ugh. Grimy head. Yes, Chief. Have you figured out what you're going to do next? Yeah. What I'm gonna do next? Just running away like a frightened child work. I know, it seems like Miss Edgeworth is very close to putting a wheel on his but, <laughs> but. finished to prove his point, he forgot the very one important very thing. Very well, what is it, Mia? The piece of evidence that he really should investigate. Something he should investigate? Uh. I would really hate to see the good prosecutor get scolded. But now remembering to look into the item when he had the pants. Why are you speaking in riddle all of a sudden? That's not very pork champ of you at all. All right, I think this time we finally understand everything. Well, Mr. Wright, you don't have any further objections, do you? Which I might do. What's this piece of evidence that me is talking about? I figure out what it is that still needs to be looked at, or should I let it go? I have a bl I mean an objection, your honor. <laughs> that was about the weakest objection I've ever heard, Mr. Wright. Objection! Fuck you, Edgeworth! Your honor, the defense has no intention of letting this go easily. You are beginning to sound desperate. I am. I mean, that's just your imagination, your honor. Mr. Edgeworth, this is not like you at all. In your eagerness to prove your point, you've forgotten one very important thing. <laughs> Isn't that what I just said? You're dead. You don't count. <laughs> oh, that's game, Chief. Come back. Sure, <laughs> this is like, you fuck this shit out, man. <laughs> takes All comes back from the space dimension. <laughs> yeah, she takes Pearl's place in the ether. <laughs> from the divine beyond. I'm going so hard to find anime right now. <laughs> Shooting stars playing in the background. <laughs> Are you all telling me that I forgot something? You're so close, Mr. Regworth. Oh. So oh. close. Oh. There's something you should really examine about this piece of evidence. Whips out his dick. <laughs> what do you reckon? The shaft or the minutes. balls? Which is the best part about it? That is Ms. Impax's suicide note, right? Hmm, who knows? I mean, sure. This suicide note was found inside this bear. But this bear was in my position until only a few moments ago. Which means... The handwriting on this suicide note has yet to be analyzed. Oh. So, as to whether this pivotal piece of evidence was really mitten by Miss Impacts or not, that has yet to be even remotely confirmed. M Mr. Wright. You can't seriously be suggest-
Mr. Wright. You, are you saying the suicide notes are fake? Miss Andrews. You were the one who tried to pin this murder on On Guard. Who's to say you didn't even create this note and put it into the bear? How dare you! You are the defense is indiscriminately accusing the witness again! Murdering my witness? No evidence leaking the witness to the suicide note whatsoever! But if this is a fake, then the witness is the only person who could have made it. What? Recall the witness's testimony concerning this figurine. The only person other than the victim who could solve the puzzle is the witness herself. Miss Andrews, you wrote this note, didn't you? You wrote it so you could use it to frame Matt on guard. I... I did no such thing. Right, if you're going to pronounce this suicide note a fake, then show this court some evidence to support your theory. Mr. Edgeworth, you were the one who presented this scrap of paper as evidence. That means the burden of proof lies with you, the prosecution. Ah, no, you. That's enough, <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Works on Fluffy every time. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, can you confirm the handwriting on this suicide note? It is as if the... It is as... as <laughs> it is as the defense has stated. The handwriting has yet to be analyzed. Oh god, guys, I got him all flustered. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, it seems that yet again we have reached a point where a verdict is impossible. That's impossible! Impossible? He is battering this my witness. Good friend. The judge is gonna carry this trial over one more day. I don't think Maya will physically be able to make it another day. I didn't want to have to do this, but I don't have a choice. I request that both the prosecution and defense further investigate. Handwriting analysis, my butt. This took the law trying to buy more time. Lawyers are scum. Who better get to believes anything a lawyer would say. Uh, anyway. We live in a society. Bottom track. Guilty. 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 What is that infernal sound? It's Gumshoe. Hello? Gumshoe! What is with him? And what's with that sigh? Where's Maya? What happened to the killer? He, uh... He got away. What? I'm sorry, pal. I really am. I don't know what his name is. I'm sorry. I wish there was some way I could make it up to you. I really do. Uh, anyway, what's going on? We found his hideout, pal. But, the two of them were already gone. Helpful. I'm gonna keep looking for him, pal. Don't you worry. I just need a little more time. But... Don't tell me we don't. We don't have any more. Guilty! 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 Give him the chair! Guilty! 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 Shall I pass the phone? Mr. Wright, would you please get a hold of yourself? Y yes Your Honor. I am about to end today's proceedings. You may take your phone calls after... Hold on, Your Honor. Edgeworth, catch! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! He just threw a PNG at you. It was please, you've got to buy some more time! It was a JPEG, it wasn't even transparent. 
thought is in session. <gasps> I'm sorry, Your Honor. You were saying... Mr. Wright, this is a court of law. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but... I am reluctant to do this. However, it appears that I have no choice but to suspend proceedings until tomorrow. I... This time I really can't do anything. Court is now adjourned for the day. What the fuck? That's not oh, cool. Yeah. Finish the bedtime story! <gasps> Please wait, Your Honor. It's what? what? What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? I humbly request another 30 minutes of Your Honor's time. For what purpose? We can perform the necessary tests on this piece of evidence in that time. Mm -hmm. Can you really obtain your results in 30 minutes? I believe we can, Your Honor. But wouldn't it be better if we adjourned for today and then reconvened tomorrow? 30 minutes, please, Your Honor. That's all I am asking for. Please, Your Honor. Very well. At the prosecution's request, this court will now take a 30 minute recess. But be advised that I will not allow another recess today. Not sure if this is helping or hurting us. The court will now take its final recess of the day. Love how it was like basically just called the shots around here. March 23, 2.04 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Right. Well, what's going on with my situation? The killer. It looks like he got away again. 30 minutes? We can't find her in that time. Ugh. Report! Ah! Is that Mr. Edgeworth? We don't have time. Just spit it out. Right, right. It looks like we just missed him, sir. But the killer left a few things behind by accident. Just rushed to get away. A few things. Can we use any of them as evidence? <laughs> wow! I thought you'd ask, pal! <gasps> I've got the thing she left with me right now, and I'm on my way over! Really? That's odd. Any items like that are usually sent to the crime lab first. We don't have time to wait for those guys, sir! When those guys weren't looking, I swiped the stuff and ran! Alright. Well! I'm not a detective anymore, so I had to. I'm really sorry, sir, but I'm gonna put the law on the hold for now. Sounds bad. I hope he doesn't get in too much trouble over this, otherwise his salary might go in the negative. With my hunk of junk car, I'll say I'll be there in about 20 minutes, sir. Don't worry, I'll be there. Wait for me. Yeah, all right, just get here in one piece. I'm on a mission, and no one can stop me now, sir. No one! I'm pulling out whole stops and running every red light! Oh, God. Items left by the murderer? Hmm. Maybe there's something among them that will be decisive enough to end this. Um. Hey, no. what's wrong? Detective Gumshoe, answer me! No one can stop! <laughs> Me. What? What? What happened? It sounded like he had an accident. I'm guessing his cell phone broke as well. What? What was he thinking? We've got to hurry and call for help. But we have no idea where he is. His cell phone was broken, and he wasn't driving a patrol car. See no radio either. Well, sir. If we don't get those items before they do, the police will take possession of them. No! We can't let that happen! Well, if there is a way we can find out where he is, then we stand a chance. Why? Oh, why did Gumshoe have to get into an accident now? Is there any way to find out exactly where he is at this moment? 
That's right! There is a way! Alright. Exactly what Sonny said. If he's dead, Pearl can channel him. Oh, shit. <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I have my moments. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bringing up Franziska at this at a time like... Oh, I see. I'll try get in contact with her. There's a the fucking ambulance outside. Slim. But she's all we have. Oh yeah, Gumshoe's in Sorry. the No, I mean actually. Oh. <laughs> Gumshoe's next door! Oh no! Oh, oh my god. Franziska? Will she even want to help us? Edgeworth. What is it? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck, I'm choking on my water. <laughs> it's not the only thing you'll be choking on. <laughs> but it's only the second game! It's only game number two! Mm. Yes, and soon it'll be number three. I don't have the right to judge anyone ever again. I know my client is guilty. But what I'm doing now, I'm pitting the guilt onto someone totally innocent and using the evidence to do so. It might be my turn to say Defense Attorney Phoenix Wright chooses death. Right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up it and kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't suit someone like you to cry useless tears. Whether you did your job well or not, that can only be seen after the verdict has been decided. The verdict? Is Prosecutor Edgeworth here? Yes, bailiff. There's a phone call for you, sir. They said it was extremely urgent. They're probably finished with the handwriting analysis. I have to take this call. In the meantime, think hard about what it is you must do. He'll be thinking hard, that's for sure. Oh, I'll be thinking about so many hard things. Think about seven inches, what you should do. <laughs> thinking about that pussy. Alright, this is... Cookie. This is the last save of the game, everybody. Oh my god, let's call it. We can do this. It is. We, we're gonna power through the rest of this and... <sighs> Bring it home. How's everyone Does feeling? Anyone need a pee break? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a pee break. I need one. <laughs> a little pee break. You're gonna be so dead at work tomorrow. Dude, do I'm working your, from home. Do your pee wissies and your sippy sippies. I'll be fine. All right, putting the break screen on, guys. Take a father. I take on a discussion of quantum physics. Oh, are these psychics? Perhaps if they, uh, if they really were psychic, they could, um, predict their own defeat. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep Sword out for this, I think he'll be fine. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> um. Fuck, that's gonna be a clip now, isn't it? Oh no. Global witness, anyone ever see a silhouette in a criminal face? Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. What was that? I was drinking tea, sorry. Oh, and the Russian bastard fire! <laughs> the defendant assaulted the victim. Are you okay? Hey, hey, Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> if that was the case, then the police would have found them near the birthday. Guys, I tried to crush up the feta that I'm putting on my pizza, but it just mushed in my hands, and now my hands are covered in feta, and there's none on the pizza! Are you fed up about it? I'm upset of feta. That's a federal crime. Oh no. <laughs> I've got feta hands and no feta pizza. Oh, this is feta I hope you feel, <laughs> I hope you feel feta soon. It's <laughs> a good one, I, I like it. I like that, yeah, that was... Way I gotta take better care of my dink. Oh, alright, I'll just put this potion on my dink, it should be fine.
There we go, much better. Whew. Oh, guys, I nearly lost my dink. How, how terrible would that have been? Alright. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put my dink away. <laughs> and put Freddles out. <sighs> I'll be happy if I catch an absol. <laughs> well, yes, sir. Because, sir, we've got to go into the... Fuck yeah! Sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Well, you're no. Sad. no, I'm not happy. I was the only one who didn't No! Catch I'll trade it oh. to you somehow. Well, you know what? Let's just go into the evidence room. I think I this place... I forgot about the absol, and I thought you were really excited to go to the evidence room. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. And we're back. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, let's finish I this one. I survived my car crash, and I'm about to make that everyone's Hi. problem. Hi. <laughs> you big kitty. It's yep. about to be justice for all time. You big kitty. Phoenix is about to Phoenix all over the place. March 23, 2.35 p.m. District Court, Cuddle. courtroom number three. Rabble, 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 rabble. Cuddle. Courts will now reconvene. I assume both sides are ready. Ye yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I can understand the defense acting <laughs> like this. Hi. He's playing with a doggo. I can hear that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> 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 Caught in 4K. <laughs> oh, but that is lies and slander. Twitch doesn't let you stream in 4K. The bitrate is nowhere near high enough. Yeah. I should have pushed a talker. Right I don't know there. why you guys can hear me. Oh, uh, weird. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. How did it get turned <laughs> off? Give me a second. Turns out Snickers is the button to push to talk. He's, like, <laughs> he's like, I am a pupper that. and I will be heard. I've still got it on. I don't understand. I'll just be quiet. <laughs> I'll just shut my mouth. Be Bro, quiet, challenge, Sonny. I'll just be quiet. <laughs> challenge impossible. Yeah, and also in brackets, the room is full of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Completely impossible. <laughs> You've got my number, that's for sure. <laughs> However, why do you also seem distraught, Mr. Edgeworth? I that, that is... It's nothing, Your Honor. What's wrong with Edgeworth? Looks like something unexpected has happened to him. Well, I did tell him I love him. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth, if you could please tell the court the results of the handwriting analysis on Ms. Impax's suicide notes. Yes, Your Honor. Unfortunately, we have discovered that this suicide note is a forgery. What? What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This... this note was not written by Miss Impax herself. It is a fake. Order! 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 Mr. Edgeworth, would you care to explain what is going on? If this was not written by Ms. Impax, then who wrote it? We would need more time to do a more detailed analysis. However, it appears that the handwriting matches that of the victim, Mr. Juan Carita. Mr. C Carita? It looks like Miss Impax never left a suicide note after all. She never wrote anything about on God. <laughs> well, apparently, that was funny. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> yeah, this, this is pretty funny. But I didn't I say a funny. <laughs> I didn't write the suicide note. <laughs> oh, 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 so funny. That's a real oh. knee slapper, that one. <laughs> 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 
It's just Seiko. He's just being cute. Oh, okay. That is pretty funny, to be and fair. And I swear I've got push to talk on, but it's just not working. No. Nah, all good. However. <laughs> and Sunny was peeking over, looking at him, and when he noticed her, he got stopped. Come <laughs> on. Oh. Oh. That's cute. That would be adorable. <laughs> However. The honor, even though this suicide note is indeed a fake. Mr. On Guard could not have known that, and so the facts remain unchanged. Acting under the assumption that it was real, he had plotted to possess it. Hmm, that does sound very plausible. This theory that On Guard had no idea the suicide note was fake. Something seems a little wrong with it. The defense believes that the theory prosecution has stated contradicts testimony. If everything the prosecution has proven up till now is true, then it's impossible for Mr. On Guard not to have known it was a fake. Words are hard, guys. Words are so hard. What is this little item called again? It's a butt plug, Your Honor. But it's also a video camera. A very small one. And it can fit in your butt. Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> uh, camera. Ah, you kids and your fancy toys nowadays. <laughs> I did not intend to set you up for that. I'm sorry. Uh, uh. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, earlier you claimed that Mr. On Guard knew of the existence of this note because he was spying on the victim. Isn't that right? See you, Goop. Have a good day at work. Have a good day at work, Goop. Bye, Goop. Yeah. If that were true, then this means Mr. Rongard would have known the victim had forged the note. Yeah. Yeah. Ack, indeed. Yeah. So then, the defendant knew this suicide note was a fake. And if that's true, then the situation has suddenly changed in a very dramatic way. Exactly, Your Honor. The prosecution's theory as to what Mr. Rongard's motive for murder was, it has suddenly disappeared into thin air. Nani? But, Your Honor, it's not as if Mr. Ongard monitored Mr. Karida's room 24 hours a day. Ooh, ooh. Perhaps the victim wrote the note in a place Mr. Ongard didn't think of. Well, right back at you, Mr. Edgeworth. Why don't you show us some proof the victim made the forgery at an unknown place? Ah! <laughs> Owned. So that's what that feels like. Order! 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 Mr. Edgeworth. It looks like this time, it is you who has dug his own grave. Lots of grave digging going on. Ah! I might figured. Huh? As you figured? As I figured. It came down to this after all. Mr. Edgeworth, you are not making any sense. When I heard the results of the handwriting analysis, I thought this might happen. The question is, what next? What next? If the prosecution can't prove Mr. Ongard's motive through the evidence, then we must prove it from another angle. Or devil. <laughs> Same brain cell. <laughs> Got me good. God damn it. <clears throat> well, I agree with you there. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to call a witness to the stand at this time. Oh, well, that's fine. However, this witness, this witness is a little unusual. It's worth stuttering? It's not like him at all. Again. This is even better, trust. Unusual? Well, what sort of witness is this person, Mr. Edgeworth? This witness is one who is perfectly fit to answer once and for all the question of Who was it that hired Shelley to kill her to commit murder? That's impossible! Who in the- No such person exists who can answer that question with such certainty! Ye yes, Mr. Edgeworth, who is this witness? It is 
It's, um... Yes? Go on! Who is it? The man himself. Mr. Shelley the Killer. Oh, Mr. the Killer. Whoa, whoa, wait! Shelley the Killer? Um, you mean... The Killer? Uh, I mean, the Assassin. Yes. Your Honor. He's coming here? To the witness stand? Well, yes, in a manner of speaking. I recognize that this is a very unusual circumstance, so I ask for your permission. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Y yes Is this all right with you? Well, I have a choice here? Can't really do much else to drag this trial out. The defense has no objections, Your Honor. I wonder if it really is all right to do this. Is this... is this legal? Very well. Then the prosecution scores... scores... It calls its witness to the stand. Scores. The prosecution scored. <laughs> Owned. Discord. <laughs> Edgeworth. There's really no other way left to us. Two star-crossed lovers from across the courtroom. <sighs> now, you know, you're just like old back. My god, leave me alone. Edge, <laughs> come over here, Edgy. Too sexy Please. for your own good. Be a defense oh, attorney with witness. me. <laughs> Um, your name and your, uh, occupation, please. Well! No. <laughs> 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 I'm legally obligated. It is, it is, yeah, fair. I'd be on your case if you didn't. My name is Shelly the Killer, and I am a professional assassin. I, I say, what, what is going on here? Your Honor. How can you remain so calm, and what is the meaning of this two-way radio? Actually, Your Honor, that's how radios work. They're always two-way. Your Honor, it was delivered to me just now, and it came with a condition. As long as we do not trace its source, Mr. Killer will testify to this court. So this must be what that urgent phone call he got earlier was about. Oh no, this will not do. I cannot allow this in my court. First of all, we can't even be sure that this is really Mr. De Killer himself. Witness, please present some sort of proof that you are, in fact, Shelley De Killer. I understand. Please wait a second. Huh? I'm so... Hungry. Uh, Maya. Ah, uh, a voice, Mr. Wright. Can you confirm anything from this? The defense has no objections to this person. We are satisfied this man is indeed Shelley the Killer. It looks like we have run into yet another unexpected turn of events. Well. It doesn't seem like we have too many choices under these circumstances, so... Now then, witness. There is one thing I would like to confirm before we speak of anything else. And what would that be? At the request of a client, you killed Mr. Juan Corrida. Is this correct? It is as you say. I did indeed kill Mr. Corrida. Now that we have answered that, let's move on to the name of your client. Very well. This is all just a bad dream. Yes, that's it, a bad dream. Shelley the Killer. What is he going to say? There is something I must first state. To an assassin, nothing is more important than the trust between a client and himself. And that is the reason I am here today on this witness stand. It is my wish that you grasp this concept before I give the name of my client. Hmm, Mr. Tequila seems to be a very clever man. I'd almost say he seems to be mocking us. 
While he may appear to be our enemy, Your Honor, Mr. Tequila is only stating the truth. He is no hypocrite. He has always stood by this one belief. You mean about this trust between his clients and himself thing? Hmm. It seems to be a level of trust beyond what people like me can comprehend. Well, Mr. Wright, are you ready to cross-examine the witness? Yes, Your Honor. There's no way to know what's coming next, so stay cool and collect it, Feeny. Hmm. I don't know how to stay cool in this heat, but I'll try. Figure it out. Press tab to open up the court record. Skill issue. <laughs> Ace. Trust... The trust between you and your client. Oh, fuck. I, I did not catch any of that. Did anyone else? No. No. <laughs> nope. I provide my services in a fast and efficient manner. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> in exchange, I trust that my clients are discreet about me and my identity. If too many people knew my face, it would be quite troublesome. And that is why you're testifying in this manner. This is the first time one of my clients has ever been accused of murder. I must preserve the killer name so my clients can trust me. But couldn't someone stab you in the back and break your trust? It has never happened before, but if it ever did... Y yes That person wouldn't be my client for very long. They would certainly... Th that's enough. Please, no more. Very well. It is only a hypothetical, anyway. Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> that seems a little strange to me. I mean, you're about to tell us the name of your client. I would think that this would be very bad for them. It doesn't matter to me. This client has already broken the rules and acted outside of their pre-subscribed role. Their role? This person tried to implicate another of the crime in order to save themselves. And this is a trespass that cannot be forgiven. You... who gave you the right to be so high and mighty? Me, I have snorted so much coke. <laughs> to the gentleman who spoke just now, Excuse me, but would you care to die? Ah, uh, no, no, I, uh, I didn't say anything. The judge had better watch himself. It is my wish for you to grasp this concept. All right, no. My so text good. is always green. <laughs> so <good>. True. <laughs> the trust between you and your client? I remind my services in a fast and efficient manner. In exchange, I trust that my clients are discreet about me and my identity. Wait, didn't you already do this? Yeah, yeah, trust. So, these are the roles and duties an assassin and his client are to carry out. I'm sorry, but I was wondering about something you just said. You said that your client had already broken the rules. A person who frames another is the worst kind of human. And that's why you feel you can betray this person? I have no trust relation with a client who can't understand their assigned role. Just my luck. An assassin with a conscience. Who would have figured? Now then. Everyone? Do you think you can understand my logic? This case just keeps getting better and better. If you can't, then I'm afraid we can't proceed. Everyone understands your point, I think. Really? In that case, I believe I am prepared to disclose the information you seek. You have made it crystal clear that you value trust over all else. I believe we are ready. Excellent. You can read this one out. And that is the reason I am here today on this witness stand. Now then, I do believe it's about time I revealed the name of my client. Don't you agree? Oh, 
What is it? Um, now I can't bring myself to ask the client's name. If you can't ask it, Mr. Wright, then I will. Witness! What is the name of your client who requested the murder of Mr. Juan Corrida? That person's name is... Adrian Andrews. What? What? Witness! Get out front of us. That's not who <laughs> you told me it was earlier. Peter! What are you talking about, Mr. Prosecutor? I don't think I know my own client. And it is Adrian Andrews. We fucking lying, mate. What? Tell the fucking truth, eh? Oh, so how big is that fucking radio? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ginormous. This, this can't be. On the phone earlier. What, what's going on here? My guess is that Mr. The Killer just stabbed Mr. Edgeworth in the back. Stabbed Edgeworth in the back? I'm so in order to get an audience with this court. Mr. The Killer told him a different name. Matt on guard, perhaps? I knew it. This, this is outrageous. I was deceived. <laughs> this witness is telling a very serious lie. <laughs> Hurts, doesn't it, Edgeworth? But, Shut the but, fuck up. But you are the one who summons this witness. Yeah. You're you, you, Shelley, the killer. Our testimony is the truth. The defendant at the moment is Matt on guard. Am I correct? All I wish to do is help procure his acquittal. Huh. <laughs> wow. All of a sudden, it feels like we can actually win this. Yeah. Oh my god, this is incredible! The prosecution has failed to provide a motive and has instead provided the suicide note, which is a forgery created by the victim. Furthermore, there is a possibility the defendant himself knew it was a fake. But most definite of all, definitive, I know words, we have heard from the assassin himself the name of his client. Mr. DeKiller's client, who requested the murder, was not the defendant at all. Yeah. With all this evidence, it is obvious to me that this means that Mr. Matt on guard is innocent. I seem to have caused you all a bit of confusion. Please, continue your discussion and call me when you have reached a verdict. Bailiff, please bring Miss Adrian Andrews in immediately. One now. With the way this is going, on guard will be found innocent. This may be our last chance to save Maya. Yeah, but but Edgeworth is right. The killer is lying. And on guard, my client. I know he's guilty. Can I live with myself if I win this? Who would have believed that the prosecution's own witness would absolve the defendant? Your Honor, the prosecution requests permission to further quit question the witness. Shelley the Killer is certainly lying under oath. Mm. It wasn't me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we know it wasn't uh, you, Your it Honor. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> Whoops. That uh. oh, wasn't me. <laughs> No, fucking guys, I'm Shaggy. It wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, listen, please. Shut up and listen for a second. That testimony just now, it was all one big lie. Sanders. The suicide note may have been a fake. But. But that man, Matt, he's the reason Celeste died. And Juan's death was all because he got pulled into Matt's twisted world. That testimony just now. You have to believe me. It was a horrible, horrible lie. 
but Mr. DeKiller himself has testified. He has named you as his client. Yeah, and you fucking believe him? That's dumb. <laughs> it's not true. Also, I'm not dumb. You, you are. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Destroyed. Oh, you got me there. <laughs> the delivery of that was so <laughs> We said it with such, like, deliberation. Who so are you? That's going in a clip montage to be sure. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking clown. <laughs> you're not the clown, you're the entire circus. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck, give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, there is quite a bit of evidence that points to you. The knife and button donning the nickel samurai costume. But that's... that's... You even have a motive. We know that Ms. Celeste Impacts was a large part of your life. You wanted to follow her, and you wanted revenge against the two who hurt her. I would say you have plenty of reason to want them both dead. I... Oh. Mr. Wright. You... You know the truth. Tell them. Tell them the real story. Who the real killer is. Tell them. Please, help me. Yes, I know the truth. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I believe we have reached the end of this trial. Therefore, I ask the defense for any final words or opinions. I have to decide. Do I take the not guilty verdict and save Maya? Or do I throw this chance away and wait for Gumshoe's new evidence? I supposed to do? Beanie? I can't do it, Mia. I can't accept a not guilty. You are a warrior. I know. But... But Matt Ongard is a killer. A murderer. I can't. I can't let him get away with this. I can't let someone else take the fall. I let Miss Andrews be convicted. And I'm no better than On Guard. And even though I don't want to admit it, I have to face the fact that it's because of Edgeworth that I know the real truth. He could have gotten On Guard convicted so many times over, but he never took a single one of those chances. If I take this verdict right now, I'd be betraying his trust. His trust? I never thought about it till now. I trust him. Aww. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, your opinion, please. The defense requests that we be allowed to further question Mr. DeKiller. Ah, uh, am I hearing you correctly, Mr. Wright? But, but, that witness has cleared your client through his testimony. Your job here is done. I'm not done yet. To see through witnesses' lies and find the truth. That is my job, Your Honor. Uh. Still more evidence to look at. I'm sure that once those pieces arrive here in this very courtroom, a miracle will occur. Very well. The trial will continue. Mr. Edgeworth, please re-establish connection with Mr. Tequila. Right away. Your Honor. <sighs> Has a verdict been reached? Before that, we would like to talk with you a little more. About? All you needed from me was the name of my client. What else could you need me for? Well, actually, we would like to hear everything you know about this case. That is how things are usually done. What is he talking about? Usually done? Do process isn't a thing in this universe. But what shall we have him testify about now? Mr. Tequila, 
<laughs> if you don't mind, please testify about your client in more detail. You legal people and your procedures. Is there any wonder no one likes to go to court? I like to go to a tennis court right about I now. I kill people and yet I'm still more likable than lawyers. <laughs> As I have already stated quite a few times, Andrew Andrews is my client. However, one thing I simply cannot overlook is tampering with the scene of the crime. My client did it to frame another for the crime. While pretending to be the first person to discover the body and enter the scene. Adrian Andrews already knew from the beginning that Juan Carrido was dead. But even more appalling is the creation and planting of the knife and button. That act is what I was referring to when I said the client had broken the rules. This voice really hurts my throat. <laughs> You're doing really great, though. Hydrate, Fluffy, hydrate. Oh, oh I am. <laughs> he needs strepsils or tea with honey or something. Honey. I need your panniers. <laughs> it doesn't have honey, but okay. <laughs> I need your essence of life, Bromi Tries, famous feature book. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, oh, there's no honey in there, man. Believe no, me. I'm well aware. <laughs> <laughs> There's some good milkies, though. Uh, <clears throat> my act calculated and bore my better bath. <laughs> <laughs> this is a most unexpected turn of events for the, um, fifth time now? You've been counting? Counting? <laughs> However, this time, everything has finally been revealed. <laughs> what the fuck do you want now? <laughs> Just a second, Your Honor. Yes, Miss Edgeworth. I still have room for one more plot twist. Uh. We, we still have the cross-examination to do. But you don't need to question testimony like this. Do you, Mr. Wright? Mm. Your Honor, the defense will question the witness. As if I have a choice here. Ha! Huh? Why? What this witness has said is nothing but beneficial to the defense's case. If you scrutinize the testimony, then... And I'll expose the lies in that oh-so-beneficial testimony, I suppose. I don't understand what's going on anymore. That makes two of us. Yes, Mexican ghost, I'm the killer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the killer. No, you're... Oh, wait. I looked at the cast list and I'm the killer. <laughs> <laughs> Lock him up, boys. But Take thank you shot. so much for taking the time to testify, Mr. De Killer. What is the meaning of that attitude? When Adrian Andrews entered the victim's room, your client had no idea Juan Carita had been murdered. But how? How do you know that? From this wine glass, Your Honor. The glass. Mr. DeKiller's supposed client thought Mr. Carita had only fainted. Which is why this glass of tomato juice was poured for the victim. Phoenix <laughs> 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 just got assassinated by DeKiller. <laughs> That was the best scream I could have hoped for. You heard it like a second coming from the next room. Every fucking time! I didn't expect it! Every fucking time! Holy shit! The best way for you to be concentrating and then just throw it at you. Okay. Alright, Fermi, when you're ready. Fuck. We'll let it simmer just for a couple more seconds. Just a couple more. Mm. That was <laughs> that was some primo Homer Simpson yelling. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, that was. Wasn't it? it needs to be a redeem, honest to God. Uh, <laughs> need to play that back. Streaming as a redeem. I'll go back and clip it, and I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can do that. Uh, <laughs> hmm. But isn't that just a part of Adrian Andrews' calculated plan? That is not possible, Your Honor. This glass bears the fingerprints of that person. Had this been planted, they would have never left their fingerprints behind. I see your point. 
Mr. Edgeworth, what is your opinion? Hold on, Edgeworth, the FBI are just storming the room next to you. Yeah, I see. Ah, oh, they found her, finally. Ah, oh, very good. I had the same exact thought just now. <laughs> Witness, how do you explain the strange phenomenon? I've been a waste of time to ask such a minor detail. Bruce. It's not a very important point anyway, correct? Hold on, hold on, sorry. Must catch Froge. <clears throat> I'm afraid you are mistaken. Watch none of us catch this Krogunk, it's gonna be great. If I leave the I'm fucking great wall, I'm going to I don't <laughs> fucking care, Krogunk! Krogunk! <laughs> Krogunk! Who even cares about Pokemans? <gasps> How dare you, Edgeworth! You've gone Get too out. far this time! And why Edgeworth. are you even trying to catch another Twitch streamer Pokemon? Let me enjoy Damn. my pixels in peace. If Adrian Andrews really is your client, as you claim, <laughs> then your client should have to have had knowledge of Mr. Corita's death. If not, then that can only mean that Adrian Andrews was never your client at all. That's what was a Digimon boy. <laughs> Makes sense. So was I. Honestly, honestly. it tracks. How restrained. Yes? Why is it that the attorney has yet to raise an objection at this absurd situation? <gasps> oh, congrats, Mexican and Hera. You guys are the good roads. It's got salt. The worst fucking Always. stack I've ever seen in my life. Salt. Do you hear that? It's the. Fantastic it's, attack, it's, though. It's the inhaling of cope. If the killer figures out what we're oh. up to, we're in real trouble. Mm. Yeah, I know. Objection! Mr. Edgeworth, I'm surprised. You know you can't say things like that without any evidence. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was an awfully weak objection from the two of you. Anyway... I am positive there was a contradiction in that testimony. The prosecution requests further testimony concerning when the request was taken. Very well. Right now, I have to buy us more time. While we wait for the items to kill or left behind to get here, just know that the very outcome of this trial lies with those items. The request came to me, oh, about a week ago. It was a request for my services on the night of the award ceremony. We met at a certain bar to discuss and finalize a few matters. That is what occurred. I trust my memory, and I believe I have made no mistakes. Hmm, so you physically met your client, huh? That is correct. Meeting one client is the first step to building trust, in my opinion. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Second last cross-examination, guys. Hang in there. I'm not. <laughs> so you physically met Adrian Andrews, right? Idea. What was that? What was with the brief pause? Witness! I would like for you to give us a few more details. I always meet my clients as a matter of principle. I have never taken a request by telephone or mail. And why is that? That's because I value the trust between a client and myself above all else. And the only way to establish that is to speak to the client while looking them in the eye. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, was the testimony just now of any importance? Uh, 
That wasn't the correct option. Of course, it was very important, Your Honor. If Mr. DeKilla had met his client before the murder, then it's unlikely he's mistaken. Hmm. So you're saying that his client really was Adrian Andrews? Uh, um, I guess so? <laughs> I'm so lost. Who the heck am I supposed to be helping here? Calm down, Feeny. Think carefully and relax. Now then, will the witness please continue? I apologize. That was that was a flub on my my part. <laughs> it's okay. It's not as if you have a guide or anything. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so you physically met Adrian Andrews, right? Uh, I did. Uh, what was that? What was that very pause? Oh, that's crazy. Press further. A witness, I would like for you to give us a few more details. Same. Same. I just hear yeah, and then nothing. <laughs> Look. Mm. Well, Mr. Wright, was the test when I just know any more importance? Of any importance? No. <laughs> Fuck you, it wasn't. Of any importance? Yeah. Of any importance? Why he meets his clients is not important, and that wasn't the point. Witness, please stop sidestepping my questions. What, what do you mean by that? My question was, did you really meet Adrian Andrews in person? I have already told you, Mr. Wright. I did. It was only through talking with him face to face that I began to trust him. That's when I thought, I can trust this person as a client. Hmm. It's true what they say about talking face to face. Well, Mr. Wright, was testimony just now of any importance? If I heard what I think I heard just now, then I think I've got him. Your Honor, I believe the testimony just now is of the utmost importance. Huh? Really? If that's the case. Witness, please include the statement just now in your testimony. Very well. Very good. From the moment I saw him, I thought I could trust this person. No, wait, fuck. No, no, that was good. That was new. No, already said that. All good. Objection! It's all green, man. I would like to go over this one more time. You met Adrian Andrews at a bar and took the request at that time? Yes, that is correct. And that's when you thought he was trustworthy? How many times must I repeat myself? Yes, that is correct. I'm sorry, but that is an impossible tale. What? Shelley DeKiller. You have never met the real Adrian Andrews. Why would you say that? Because you made one very big slip-up. About her. So what is the issue? What did you say just now? He misgendered her. About her? <laughs> it's so rude. If you have ever met Miss Adrian Andrews in person, one look would have told you she is a woman. Ah, oh. oh, shit, I broke the radio. Uh, order! Order in the court! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? This witness testified to the following, that he always meets face-to-face -face with his clients when taking their request. But he has never met Adrian Andrews in person. Yes, Your Honor, that is exactly the point. That means Mr. DeKiller's client could not have been Miss Adrian Andrews. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, uh, oh, uh. Sweat your oil, honor, bro. the radio is crooming. <laughs> no, it was Chucky Milk. Did anyone want to have a go at doing Simlish? 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 A smirking smile was like, where's the Simlish? Uh, no. No. <laughs> We've already say... tried Animal Crossing, that's annoying <laughs> enough. <Okay. laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I understand your logic on this one. A harmony guitar? What? However... Why would the assassin make such a basic mistake? Because he's a basic bitch. I believe it has to do with her name, your honor. Her name? 
Yes, Adrian Andrews is without a doubt a very androgynous man. Hmm. Yes, I see. Unluckily for Mr. Tequila, the entire time he was on the stand, no one had stated Adrian Andrews' gender. And so, he simply picked the wrong gender to go with. What? What? What is going on? Shelly Tequila. This court demands an explanation. Um... I, I think somehow I must have mixed up Miss Klein with another. So does that mean you remember something different now? Yes, of course. Please, if you would allow me to testify once more. Oh, how many do-overs do these prosecution witnesses get? He's just gonna 17. He's just gonna spit out more lies. Very well. But this time, please give us the truth, and nothing but the truth. I hope you got. So I hope you got. You can't handle the truth! Damn. Heh. <laughs> Uh, now I remember, I took that request by mail. There have been times where I took a job without having met my client. The request was for the murder of Juan Carita and two or three other small things. When I saw the name at the end of the letter, I thought my client to be a man. Bruh. Contradiction. Hmm. So you took this job through a letter. He didn't mention anything about a letter in his earlier testimony. Which means he's definitely lying. Be careful, Feeny. If you break the assassin's testimony completely, it's over for us. I know. I can't make him suspicious. But I think we're okay. Like, we can do this. As long as he's standing there across from me. No matter how strong of a punch I throw, he'll counter it. Now then, let's begin the cross-examination. <sighs> Nearly there. Shut the fuck up! No. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three other things? And what were these other things? Oh. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you talking Ooh. like Les Mis? Like, I just have to sing everything like it's... Uh. Yes. <laughs> and what were these other things? What were other things that have nothing to do with this guy? Hmm. What should I do? Should I let him slide with that? It'd be really bad if I pushed his buttons the wrong way and he got mad. Whether or not they're related to this case is for the court to decide. Court to decide. Mr. Attorney! Y yes Everything I've said from the beginning has been nothing but beneficial to your client. Which is why I wonder what is pushing you to continue with this cross-examination. Exclamation point! Could it be... That you are planning to betray your own client. Th th that's... I uh... smell the stench of a backstabber. And should you turn out to be one... That is your own smell. <laughs> wait uh oh this is looking really bad. I shouldn't press my luck. Alright, I have to think. Is this really worth pursuing? Witness, this is a very important matter. Please cooperate and tell us what these other jobs your client requested were. If it's truly that important, I suppose I don't have much of a choice. The bear figurine. The bear figurine. After the assassination of the target. I was to find that figurine. I was told that this job was just as important as the job. 
Sorry, I opened the fucking Discord and saw it joined from the Phoenix. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Uh... Thanks for that, Hera. <laughs> I mean, um... What did I do? Oh, was it was post? distracting, and I'm oh. uh, saving that for later. <clears throat> oh, the, the Discord. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yeah, right. naturally, yes. Prob prob's too spicy for stream, but... Acrobat! Uh... Acrobat, indeed. Fuck anyway. Yeah. Sorry, oh, I got you... distracted. Articles. I didn't mean to distract everyone else. Oh, no, 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 you're fine. Right, I'll, read, I'll do that again before I was uh, made down dead. Andrew, that Zoe's job is just as important as the actual killing. And where was that figurine? It was inside Mr. Karita's suitcase. And then, what did you do next? And it over to my client right away. You gave it to your client? Interesting. Hmm. This information certainly sounds important to me. This is incredibly wholesome artwork. <laughs> Witness, please include what you've just stated in your testimony about the artwork. As you wish. It's pretty damn wholesome. Mm. It's time. Shelly to kill her. If you had really given the bear to Miss Andrews, then this item should not have been inside it. <laughs> All right, oh, stop, I'm sorry. Focus. We can look at, we can look at the cute photos we can look later. At Focus. We can look at Yowie later. Oh, my God. <laughs> my God, people. I hate cliches. cliches. The grumpy one is soft for the sunshine. <laughs> the grumpy one is soft for the sunshine. Oh my god. It's like, it's like, it's like number one. Focus! We're nearly like through this. Just focus, please. <laughs> Put the yaoi down. Put the grumpy and the sunshine. Put it down! I do. Oh no! I see where you're going. Yep. That's where I'm going. <laughs> where is everyone going? Do I need to pack a suitcase? We're yes, going to the, the Discord. Pack a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Yowie Land, Your Honor. Please, <laughs> please think back to Miss Andrews' testimony. <laughs> yes, we can collect the you know, we need to burn it for her sake. <laughs> oh my God, this is devolving. <laughs> <sighs> if even for a single minute, the spare had actually been in Miss Andrews' hands. I'm sure she would have taken the suicide note out and burned it. That should love a bear in those hands. Mm -mm. Barely. Order! 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 So, that's where you two are going. Bahamas. Bear by the very fact that this suicide note was still inside the bear. It tells us that your client didn't know how to disassemble the puzzle. What? Which means... It means, Your Honor, it is impossible for Adrian Andrews to be the client. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, uh, order! 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 I'm just a Phoenix Rise. Hmm. Hi. I'm sure I mentioned this before. How I hate traitors above all else. I think your cross-examination has clearly doesn't demonstrated something to me. You. You must wish to break your end of our agreement. No, that's not... That's enough. If that is your intention, then there is only one more thing for me to do. Wait, please! Gentlemen, ladies, please excuse me. I have a matter that I must attend to. N no, please, not that. Please wait. 
Mr. Attorney, bring this trial to a speedy end, and I may stay my hand. Otherwise... What in the... Mr. Wright, are you... My God, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, that's so weird. Chill out, mate. Take a zanny. Yeah. Take a zanny. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand this witness's outburst just now. Read the room, Your Honor. Do you think there is a need to hear more testimony, or is this enough? Well, we should. Edgeworth, we can't do this. If we keep this up, Maya, she'll... Yeah. The prosecution, I... Oh my god, what, the prosecution... What has, has come the over everyone? Already. Even you are! The prosecution... rests. What is going on around here? You're looking at Smut in the Discord. <laughs> the prosecution has no further questions, your honor. Well... What? Oh my god, they're doing it again! What's going on? Well, <laughs> oh my god, I never no, thought... Oh my god, it too. <laughs> oh my god. Focus. We're focused! Carry on! Concentrate. <laughs> focus on the ship. <laughs> I'll sink All the aboard. ship if you don't focus. Sorry, help me! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm channeling my inner 16 year old. Oh. Well, well, I never thought I'd see the day. This is a most unusual situation. If the prosecution rests with no further questions, then the prosecution has failed to uphold its stance. <laughs> if that is the case, then even though I am reluctant, I must believe that Mr. Tequila's testimony is accurate. That would mean that Shelley DeKiller's client is Adrian Andrews. Mr. Wright. Y yes, Your Honor. If I end the trial here, right now, then your client, Matt on guard, would be declared innocent. And in his place, Adrian Andrews would be charged with murder. Mr. Andrews would be charged with murder. <laughs> the prosecution oh has no further questions, so we will now hear the defense's final remarks. Bailiff, please bring the defendant, Matt on guard, to the stand. I Errol, stop posting smart. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> I just found a really bad one. I'm not gonna. I think I... Oh my God. The item from the killer's hideout didn't make it in time. Just DM it to me. It's okay. Yeah, she's <laughs> DM it to me too. Time is hard as we could, but it, it looks like our time has won yeah. out. I believe it. Now come now, wise in your hands. My soft, supple hands. Who wanted the smart? Me. Me. Uh, me. <laughs> All of us. Guys, please. <laughs> We're, We're almost done. done. <laughs> <laughs> is you? Yeah, I know. Dude, did the whole guy finally decide? To be honest, I can't think of you as a truly innocent and good person. You have done enough evil to drive a woman to suicide. Holy shit. But... At least, on the charge of murder, it would appear you are innocent. <laughs> so, I guess even the old fuddy-duddy figured me out. M Mr. Unguard, what an atrocious lawyer I have, giving his own client up like this. And that refreshing like a spring breeze crap. It's just as atrocious, don't you agree? It's pretty lame. Pretty cringe. Anyway, get on with it and pronounce me innocent already. Right, Mr. Lawyer? Should I side with justice? Or should I save Maya's life? You'd better 
get on guard a guilty sentence. Okay? But, but if okay. I did that, Maya will die. But if I say he's innocent, then Miss Andrews will be charged as the murderer. He's pretty rude, eh? If I say he's guilty or not guilty, by the choice I make, someone's life is going to end. It all hinges on what I choose. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. If the person who hired the assassin was Adrian Andrews, then your client, Mr. Matt on guard, is innocent. <laughs> There's no need to ask, old man. After all, my liar is going to say what I want, aren't you? Didn't come through. Right. That's better. I can't. I can't do this. But I have to decide something. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. My client, Matt on guard, is. Just did your own client in? Oh my god. We are waiting for your answer, Mr. Wright. Not on guard, your client deserves an answer. Maya, I'm sorry. Matt on guard is... Objection! Fuck yeah! Get it! But Francisca von Karma! What? What are you doing here? Yow! You see now, don't you, Mr. Phoenix, right? This is exactly why you should never take your eyes off the scruffy fool. Did you bring them the final pieces? Do you have them? You should know better than to ask that, Mr. Miles Edward. Avon Karma is perfect in every way. The evidence is here, in perfect condition. Don't worry about Scruffy. He's fine, and his injuries are minor. All of the items are inside this. What a filthy old coat this is! That's dumb shoes. You can spot his tattered rags anywhere. I apologize for its ugliness, but there was nothing else to wrap the items in. I fought long and hard this whole trial. All for what's inside that raggedy coat. I'm sure that inside that coat lies a crucial piece of evidence. Your Honor, inside that filthy coat are the defense's final pieces of evidence. Your final evidence? Hmm. This trial is already over. All that remains is for me to hand down my verdict. I do not believe that any evidence presented now would change the outcome of this trial. What? What? Objection. Your Honor, it is our duty to examine every piece of evidence down to the last. I request that Miss Von Karma be allowed to present these pieces of evidence. Hmm. I suppose you are right. Mr. Edgeworth, I grant permission to do so. However, this one obvious rule applies here. If these items do not bring up any new points, then they will not be accepted by this court. Now, Ms. Von Karma, if you please. These pieces of evidence are items left by the killer during his escape from the police. Hmm, he must have been in quite a rush. Yes, Your Honor. The killer left three pieces of evidence. Somewhere among the evidence we're about to see, there will be something that will turn this whole situation around. Like a miracle. I'm sure of it. That's all we can hope for. The first item is a pistol. Does the killer's pistol have anything to do with this case? Does that pistol have any relation to the case? We have yet to perform a ballistics test, so I can't say anything for certain. However, 
I believe it has something to do with this case. At least with me. Hmm? That's the pistol he used to shoot there, isn't it? That's what I believe, yes. Oh. I kept the bullet that I removed from my shoulder as a sort of memento. I'm sure it will be an excellent sample for the test. So that's the pistol that was used to shoot Francisca. Probably not going to help us very much. You still added to the court record. The second piece of evidence is this videotape. I bet the killer took that from On God Mansion. Have you checked the contents of that tape? Unfortunately, there was no time to. Oh yeah. But I would speculate that this tape is very important. <sighs> Why would you say that? Because he came back to his hideout for it. The, the killer went back to hideout for it? That's not German at all. <laughs> That's right. You... It looks like he was trying to recover it. He injured three of the officers on site. <clears throat> but somehow, it looks like they managed to protect it from the killer. Shelly the Killer is no ordinary man. Videotape added to the court record. The last piece of evidence is this bellboy's uniform. Is that a uniform from the Gatewater Hotel? I can't do it. I just can't. I need to practice <laughs> more. <laughs> Jeez. Hans, a video Betis. Was that used during the crime? I'm a vampire now. <laughs> I'm almost certain it was. There's even a pair of black leather gloves in one of the pockets. There's no doubt about it. The killer was wearing this on the night of the murder. <laughs> <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my boy. It's too late for this shit, I swear. <laughs> there is one thing I found interesting about this uniform. And what is that? There was no smut in the pockets. <laughs> <laughs> there is a button missing on this uniform. A button? It's a very unique button. I'm sure if we were to recover it, it would provide us very with an interesting clue. Hmm. Little boy's uniform added to the court record. Yeah, have a good night, smoking. Thanks for sticking through it. We are almost done. Is that the bloody egg that I thought? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It, it, bloody yes. egg. It's the, the bloody, bloody egg. It's the bloody egg, man. <laughs> 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 this is all I have to present, Your Honor. Okay. And fuck you. Mm. Fuck you and goodbye. <laughs> what? what? Fuck you on the ground you stand on. Deuces. Salt mm. on your crops, Mr. Judge. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as I thought. And what is that, Your Honor? I'm sure we were under normal circumstances. These items from Shelley to Killer's hideout would be very important clues. However, our question is not who did the killing. It is who is the client. Yes, that is correct. And these three items do not tell us anything about that. Thank you for your hard work, Ms. Von Karma. You may step down now. Wait, Your Honor. Please allow me to examine this new evidence. Overruled. This court already has all the evidence it needs to hand down a verdict. Wonderful. Absolutely splendid. This judge is such a brilliant man, isn't he? Is this the end? Win. I knew it. There's no such thing as a miracle in this world, is there? I think you're wrong. I think they do exist. But you have to make that miracle happen. You come this far 
You can't give up now. But, but, no matter how you think about it, it's... It's... Why? For my sake. Just think about it for a second. There are two ways out of this situation for us. T two? The first... Make on guard wish from the bottom of your soul for a guilty verdict. Huh? The killer was always... will always place his client's wishes first. If on guard himself wishes to be convicted, then he will let his hostage go. Th that may be true, but... That's asking me to do the impossible! The second way... Force the killer to end his contract with on guard. If the killer were to no longer think of on guard as his client, then he would wet my bow. Yeah, that's even more impossible! He's a man who values his duty towards his clients above all else! I know, both of these seem like impossible feats at first. But if you could make either one happen, it would truly be a miracle. The bigger problem is, the judge has already said he doesn't need any more evidence. The pieces he was just shown, he's not accepting them. Tween. Think things through from the other side. Isn't that what you isn't that what has always worked for us? The other side? Wait, does she mean you mean to turn things around? Queenie, the judge says he didn't doesn't need the evidence. If that's the case. Who does need it? <laughs> person who needs the evidence. The defense, prosecution, and the judge. We have seen all the pieces of evidence. And that is how we have come to know the truth. But there is one person who has yet to see them all. And that person does not know the truth. That truth... It may be what will bring about the miracle in the end. There are no objections this time, correct? Now then, I will pronounce my verdict! Why don't we all respectfully sit back and listen, kids? <laughs> I have already told you, Mr. Wright. This court does not need any more evidence. I am not saying it is us that needs more evidence, Your Honor. Then... You want to show the evidence to... that person? Yes, Your Honor. Mm. I'm saving here, because we're going to do two endings. Oh. Oh shit, okay. Good ending first? No, bad ending first. Aww. I want to end on a high note! <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we're we doing the bad ending. We're doing the smut ending. Please, Your Honor. Yeah, we make out with Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Mr. Wright, for you to ask with such a passion, I will grant you one chance. What? One chance? Please show your evidence to who you think is the right person. You only got one shot, not much you paid That's impossible to turn the situation around in one try. One try. That is all I will permit. I have to try and remember. Now I'm paranoid that you didn't save correctly. <laughs> Everything that's happened up to this point. If anything, I saved too early. <laughs> think, mm -hmm. Phoenix. Think. There must be a way to save Maya while taking Ongar down at the same time. Now then, Mr. Wright. Let's not waste any more time. Oh, this was actually the point to save. Oh. Yeah, I did save too early. There you go. Alrighty. Who would you like to show evidence to? My attorney's badge. <laughs> I see. And now, tell this court what one piece of evidence you would like to show this person. My attorney's badge. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, um, I don't have anything to say to this. Hmm. How about you, Ms. Von Karma? 
Oh, well, I was just shot, so... Shot through the heart! You are to blame! <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot allow the defense to continue. W what? No one understands what you are talking about anymore. <laughs> w wait, please, one more chance. That is enough, Mr. Wright. I will now state my verdict. This court finds the defendant, Matt, on guard. Not guilty. Yay, we did it. Yay, we let a murderer off. Yeah, isn't that great? Oh my that god, I'm all. going to jail now. This court is adjourned. <laughs> no! Yeah, suck shit, Adrian. <laughs> no! Please, what you no. get for All having a boy name? And just like that, the case came to an end. All I did was look at smut. I ran <laughs> away from the courtroom <laughs> and wandered the streets alone. <laughs> yeah, we got a guy off. I never saw Maya again. <laughs> the killer is a man of his word, so I'm sure he released her as promised. I heard the verdict of Miss Andrews' trial a few days later. She was found guilty, of course. You done fucked up, Feeny. The miracle never happened. Maybe it was never meant to. Why? Because a miracle is something that doesn't exist. Jesus. Imagine getting this bad ending and then going straight into the third game and just being like, wait, why what is Maya here? What the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we did it, guys. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> we did nice, the guys. Justice for all. <laughs> we found the secret ending. Depression. <laughs> Woo! Right. We sure right, did. Alex did exactly what he was supposed to. We sure right. got justice for all. Rewind the clock, guys. Well, Would you like to show evidence to? Oh shit! I nearly got that mixed up. That would have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And now, tell this court what one piece of evidence you would like to show this person. My attorney's bad. My you attorney's bad. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Well, I what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Ah, hmm. uh, um, the repeated dialogue. I think there is some merit in sharing this evidence to that witness. Hmm. Bailiff, please bring in the transceiver from earlier. Alright, it looks like I managed to convince him. Are we still on the bed? bed in <laughs> Maya, she's okay, right? But didn't I tell you to concern yourself with bringing about a speedy end to this trial? Now, if I understand correctly, you wish to show me one piece of evidence. Yes, one is all I need. I have here a videotape. It was found at your hideout. I heard you injured three officers in your attempt to get this back. That was most regrettable. However, it was an order from my client. I was told to protect that videotape. I thought so. I'm afraid I seem to have failed in that regard. Do you know the contents of this tape? I was certainly told by my client not to watch it. So I have absolutely no idea. Actually, you're on this tape. Me? There was a video camera hidden at the crime scene. Your actions were being recorded. Wh what? Is that true, Mr. Wright? Who? Who was that that planted the camera? Well, the only person who could have placed a camera at the scene of the crime would be your client, naturally. That, that was Adrian Andrews. Be quiet and listen, <laughs> your honor. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> your client specified in place and time for you, isn't that right? Yes. That was so they could film you. I had no idea. Mr. Wright, why would my client do such a thing? I would like to know why. 
Why did Matt on God film the crime scene? The reason why he did that is my ticket out of this whole mess. There's only one reason why your client would secretly film the crime scene. They... My judge you know, badge. You know you actually lose if you pick either of the other options too. <laughs> I figured. Your client once told me something very interesting. We were talking about you, and this is what they said. But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone. Least of all, assassins. Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. Yes, that's where the video comes in. With that, I can keep him at bay and even blackmail him if I want. Your client didn't trust you at all. They were thinking of using this video to blackmail you. What do you have to say to that, Shelly DeKiller? <laughs> it looks like... It looks like I was being deceived from the very beginning. Yes by a natural. That's the kind of person they are. Your client is a person who only thinks and plots of how to use the people around them to protect themselves from any and all dangers that may arise. That is the true nature of your client. I have one question for the witness. Yes? You told us one thing numerous times during your testimony. You said that you detest traitors, most of all. Yes, that's right. But what if that traitor was your own client? What would you do then? That's obvious. I would break our contract in that case. And then... That client would become my next target. For the honor of the Dekiller name, even if it takes an eternity, I would follow that person to the ends of the earth to exact my punishment. I see. That's all I wanted to know. So the traitor becomes the killer's next target. Ah, I get it. This is how we'll turn this case around. Mr. Wright. Yes? My contract with my client is over as of now. I seem to have a new job on my hands. I will now return to you your precious item. That went by too quick, sorry. <laughs> that was easy. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, thank goodness. Um, this trial appears to have come to its conclusion. However, I... Actually, I'm sort of... I don't quite know what just happened there with the client and the witness and... Go la! No, you, Rory. <laughs> Once again, I fell for the, uh, it's on. <laughs> it's what <laughs> I, I almost fell for it. <laughs> mm. Ms. Von Karma, where did that? She always has you in her sight. <laughs> now, I do believe it's time to finally hand down a verdict. Fucking ghost whip out of nowhere. I'll do it again. Mr. On Guard, it looks like somehow you got you what you wanted. You will finally receive the acquittal you wanted so badly. You should be happy. Look at him sweat. But before that, I would like to make one final statement. Sometime in the near future, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. Uh, 
Needless to say, that man is very good at what he does. I'm sure you would understand what I mean if you watched this video. <laughs> Help me! Now then, your honor, the verdict, if you please. I I is that all right with you, Mr. Wright? We have finally reached the end of a very long battle. Whether he's convicted or acquitted, there's no escape for him now. Go on, Feeny. Plead whichever way your heart tells you. Right, Chief. Matt on guard. <laughs> Even though I'm a lawyer, I cannot make your crime disappear. I think a guilty verdict is appropriate here. M me My wonderful self G guilty Even you got even if you got an acquittal, the instance you set foot outside the detention center, your life would be in danger. No matter which way you look at it. You can't run away from your crime anymore. <laughs> no guilty 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 As always, it looks like we have uncovered the real truth. We, I don't remember you helping much out in all this at all. <laughs> Fuck. Based. Mr. Edgeworth, how is Matt on guard? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> I have left Miss Von Karma in charge of his incarceration. I'm sure he's getting a full course meal of whip leather right about now. Very good. It was a close one, wasn't it, Witness? Yes. I plan to pay my debts to society for my own crime, Your Honor. The first time I was called to the witness stand during this trial, all I felt was despair. She must be talking about the time Edgeworth really went after her. I guess she's trying to forgive him for what he did. This witness, how should I put this? She has an illness. If you're going to say you would choose death, that is of no concern to me. But, after that, when I was alone at the detention center, that's the first time I really saw myself for who I am. And today, when the two of you used your combined strength to convict Matt, I... I felt like I had finally been saved. Wow. This is the first time I've ever seen her smile. I'm really happy that you two are in charge of this case. I really don't know how to express how I feel at this moment. This is... This is the first time I've felt comfortable with myself. With who I am. Thank you so much, everyone. A little wholesome. Yeah. Mm. A wholesome ending. Yeah. Yay. It looks like we have resolved everything at last. All my mental illnesses are cured. <laughs> God, I wish. <laughs> I just went for a walk outside, and now I feel oh. perfectly fine. All I had to do was touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> all she had to do was go into a detention center. <laughs> oh, yeah. fuck. That, that has implications, bro. Your and Honor. The orange is the new black. Your Honor, I am completely better. <laughs> <laughs> As for myself, there are still a few things I'm confused about. Hey, you're old. You're senile. <laughs> Who said that? Your wife. Who? Who's you're there? In a, you're in a monologue, Your Honor. They're in the walls. Them to you. <laughs> They're in the walls. But everyone seems to be in good spirits. And that is good enough for me. That is all. This court is adjourned. I'm too old for this shit. I'm fucking off. <laughs> March 23, 554, 55, 14 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Numbers are hard. Soup had a stroke. Mm. <laughs> Soup has had a stroke. You were great out there, Freeny. What I did out there was right, wasn't it? 
This is the first time you've not gotten your client off. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix is slapped. Uh. <laughs> but you got the entire Discord server off. Oh. <laughs> Moving on. You got them a guilty verdict this time. But you have to work past all of that to what's really important. You now realize that there's more that you you <laughs> You now realize that there is something more than just getting a not guilty, right? Yeah, I understand now. Queenie, think back for a second. Think to the moments before Miss Von Karma arrived with that final pieces of evidence. Think about the incredible decision you had to make. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. Should I side with justice, or should I save Maya's life? My client, Matt Ongard, is... A punt! He's a cunt, he is! He's a fairy! You can't say that. Uh, That's oh. useful. Got him. Oh my god. He's not a cunt. He doesn't have the depth or the warmth. Too <laughs> <laughs> fucking shay. He's gonna when he ends up in jail. Hey. <laughs> oh, damn. Is he guilty or is he not guilty? Those were your choices then. And your answer. Your answer spoke to what being a warrior means to you. Right. E Edgeworth? I have good news. Maya is now safe in police custody. Really? Uh, Pearls! You're telling us the truth, right, Mr. Edgeworth? No, she's fucking dead. Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> okay. <laughs> she is on her way here, as we speak, in a patrol car. Oh, she punches deceptively hard for a kid. I... I believed in you. I kept saying to myself, Mr. Nick will save her. Mr. Nick will save her. Uh, um, thanks. Oh! What's wrong? Miss Von Karma. Um, about earlier, uh... uh... Thanks. Ow! Why are you still smiling? Mr. Phoenix, right? You you lost. Your perfect win record has now been crushed. And yet, you're still happy? I don't think you'll ever understand, Miss Von Karma. How dare you? Don't worry. Be may in time. After all. I was like that myself until a year ago. Uh, it's worth? For my own personal victories. And for guilty verdicts. I used every dirty trick in the book. And so my win record remained spotless. But... A man appeared and stood fast against that selfish me. I fought him in my usual manner, and tasted my first defeat. I felt like I had lost everything because of that. And I knew then, I had to taste him who will. <laughs> Down bad. Down bad. It is my turn to sit in the defendant's chair. You need to hold the shaft. With a gun. <laughs> And I was saved by that person I called my enemy. I couldn't forgive myself for all that had happened, so I left the prosecutor's office. It was also that one case that no one talks about after. And that I left that note. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Hmm. 
as well you should have. A prosecutor who has shamed himself with defeat should crawl into a hole and die. But that was not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came <laughs> to realize <laughs> And it was at that moment of clarity that everything began to change. What foolish nonsense. We prosecutors use anything we can to attack the defendant. But every time we did so, No matter how desperate the situation, instead of giving up like most people, that man would hold strong with his undying faith. And then, before I knew it, I began to trust in that man as well. Gay. What? You trusted your enemy? It doesn't matter how many underhanded tricks a person uses. The truth will always find a way to make itself known. The only thing we can do is to fight with the knowledge we hold and everything we have. Erasing the paradoxes one by one. It's never easy. We claw and scratch for every inch. But we will always eventually reach that one single truth. This, I promise you. The truth. Yes. That's the reason why prosecutors and defense attorneys exist. But I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, right? That's why you couldn't forgive me. This man who went into hiding. Isn't that right? This man who only had his sights set on victory. Who ran away into the night. I have a new ship now. Is is Mr. Edward right, Mr. Nick? Paul, you're too young for ships. I will go down with this ship. You really let me down. Part of the ship you, or part of the crew. When you disappeared, I felt betrayed. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with is because I believed in the things you said <laughs> to me all those years ago. And you betrayed your own words. That's why, one year ago, I made up my mind. I decided that the Miles Edgeworth I knew had died. At least, that's what I told myself. New pathetic fool. M Miss Von Karma! I don't want to hear the wretched whimpering of a disgraced loser. A Von Karmer is someone who is destined to be perfect. Miles Edgeworth, you are no longer worthy. You are no longer worthy of being a Von Karma. And neither am I. It's over. It's all over. Francisca threw something on the ground just now. This is... An electromagnetic receiver. Isn't that the thing she used to track Detective Gumshoe? Friends. I'll return this to the precinct later. There's something else. Ah! Isn't that Miss Von Karma's whip? Can I have it? No, Paul. I'll never set foot in another courtroom again. I'm sure that's what she's saying by this action. You should keep this right. Um. You can use it later. Okay. Hey. Nick! Yeah. M M Maya! Is it Maya? Is it Maya? Huggies all around. No. Nick, I knew you would come through. You got on guard convicted like I knew you would. And on top of that, 
You even rescued me. Oh, well, of course I did. You know I would never desert you. You sure pressed our luck this trial. You're really lucky to be standing here. Whatever, whatever. Look, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I would just come back and haunt your dick. Like a bad ghost through... There it is! There oh, it is! Hold on, wait. Where's that, where's that redeem? Where's it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Dun dun! Dun dun! No. There it is! FBI, open up! <laughs> 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 Whoop. Bad touch, bad touch, bad touch. Just the sound of the police. Are we blind? Deploy the bonk emotes. Is it really easy to do something like that? I don't, I don't want to find out. Thanks a lot, Nick. Um, don't mention it. My... Oh, Mr. Edgeworth! Um, I'm relieved you're alright. Hey, it looks like you've made some real progress, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, well, I suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time we go out of this... just... got out of this depressing place. Huh? Where are we going? Nick, food, grub, chow. I'm starved for that dick. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Even you look like a nice oh, no. burger on a bun to me, Nick. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you, you Jesus. I look like a burger? I'm a prime rib at least. Oh, come on. You're not helping. Come with us, Mr. Edgeworth, please. I am, um, if you insist. Detective All right. Gumshoe too. So how about we hit up our usual burger joint? Don't be silly, Nick. Huh? This case messed up that awesome evening and got in the way of my gourmet food. So I've decided that we have to make it up by having another feast. Uh, another feast? Come on, Nick. Food. March 23, 7.38 p.m. Gatewater Hotel, Hotel Lobby. Hey, Pop! I keep you guys waiting! Gumshoe, sure. are you alright? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed! I didn't think I would hit the telephone pole, of all things! A telephone pole? And it wasn't a red light that got him? I can't remember who was voicing water. Yeah, you did it again, city boy. I felt like a I felt like my dear old heart was gonna give out on me, and I ain't joking. Oh wait, me? Yeah, it was more exciting than the very last episode of the Steel Samurai. That's not a high bar, but thanks. Uh. Now looky here, Mr. Snooty Prosecutor. Don't you reckon you bullied Mr. Wright too hard? If you don't start being a lot nicer to him, he might just kick it tonight, even. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Well, come on now. Everyone gather round. Y'all gonna get your picture taken by a genuine professional photographer. Looks like Lotta bought herself a new camera. But how much that one cost? Oh, pal. At least we can put this messy case behind us now. Come on. Tonight's all about eating. So let's get chowed down, pal. Amen to that, pal. Amen. Gods, let me live another day, and I'm about to make that everyone's problem. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, when you think about it, you were the one who saved the day, Detective. Ah, me? You really think so? He's right. If it wasn't for the three items you took, I think this trial would have had a very different ending. Ah, oh, well, you know, it's... Oh, 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 Ah, wait. Hi, Todd. When I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout. I was sure I took four things in total, sir. What? Four? 
Yeah, I'm sure I put one of those items in my coat pocket. It was a fourth item? Aw, oh, come on, y'all, it's over. But who, oh boy, I tell you, you really, you really are something else. Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped? Never a dull moment with you, huh? <laughs> you think? Why does she look so happy about that? For being shut away for two whole days. Weren't you scared? Yeah, it was a... It was really scary. I felt so hopeless. So to keep my mind off of things, I drew a picture. Sounds like you had it rough, gal. So where's this picture of yours? Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see Mystic Maya's picture. Is it smart? I want to see it too. It's smart. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know where it went. You all need a bonk. <laughs> Is that a promise? That's too bad. <laughs> Well, well, it's all right. It wasn't anything important anyway. Uh, sure is nice to finally see them both smiling again. Aww. Aww. Maybe you'll see it soon. Maybe hmm? smart for us. What is it, Edgeworth? <laughs> this thing is picking up. Is picking something up. Ah, that's that's Miss Von Karma's receiver. Ah, thanks to her, I had the most awful experience of my life, sir. I can't believe she stuck a tracking device on me. And that's odd. Even though you're standing right here. The tracking device seems to be in a different location. Oh, it's probably busted or something, sir. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Huh? But Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't even eaten anything yet. He's gonna you've eaten way too work. much, you glutton. Shut up. Don't fat shame me. Yeah, you did I just nearly fun. starve to death, so fair. Sorry. Now if you will excuse me. Wait. What? Kiss me. <laughs> Please. I, I just want to say, thanks, Edgeworth. You really saved me out there. <laughs> if anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me, right? I feel like words alone aren't enough here. I wonder if there's anything I can <laughs> give him to express how I feel. <laughs> so the grumpy one fell in love with the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, what's really funny is this is the correct thing to give to him. <laughs> the whip? <laughs> give him the yeah. whip. Fuck yeah, give him the whip. <laughs> what's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you two. You and her. Oh, buddy. You don't need to thank me. I was only doing my job. Are you sure about that? I want- Wait, I want you to use that on me later, come back! It looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left Mr. Nick. Aww. Oh. Hey, Mr. Maya? Hmm? Yes, Pearly? I guess you two can go back to being lovey-dovey, right? Pearl, read the room. <laughs> I don't want to read the line. Pearl, <laughs> read, the, read the lol. <laughs> Girl, stop trying to push a shit ship. Pearly. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing me! Yeah, you're so <laughs> vanilla, like, <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what um, day is. Anyway, <laughs> so, who's paying for this lovely dinner party? As if you need to ask. Everyone say, thank you to Nick. Wow. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm kind of at a point where I can't even buy him some noodles, pal. So I kind of already put your name on the bill. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I got me a situation like that, uh, just like that myself. There's this camera shop in this hotel, you see. And I just brought myself this good old beauty here. It'd be better, uh, it better be anyhow for 3,000. Huh? 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 Actually, I reckon you bu uh, bought it for me since it's all on your tab and all. Huh? 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 Isn't this great, Mr. Nick? Yeah, Nick? Why do I suddenly feel like screaming? 
Aw, oh, you don't need to hold back now, you hear? Yeah, pal. Time to live a little out. This is going to be the first time I hear the real you. Go on. <coughs> it's been a while since I heard you say it. I've been busy being a hostage and all. All right, then. If you say so. Objection! <sighs> I we did that. it. We I did it, cameras. Show everyone. Oh, did it. Is it smart? No, it's not smart. Oh my gosh. Wait, read the line. Do it. <laughs> I had to hide that letter, but I knew you'd find it. I really feel like I've been living on the edge lately. I mean, I've escaped death three times now. Pretty cool, huh? I feel like a pro. Mm. If, if only you knew how many more times you'd have to escape death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that you could save Mystic Maya, Mr. Nick. And I'm so happy for the two of you. Speaking of which, I think this hotel is a popular place for honeymooners. So I sort of made reservations for the two of you. Just in case. How did they oh, let an eight-year-old do that? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, no. Read the news tab. Mm -hmm. Well, pal, it looks like I'm back on the force again. Mr. Edgeworth had a long talk with the chief, and he got me re reinstated for my sake. He already said things like, letting that one go is a bad for all society. I knew it. Crashing headlong and everything is the only way to live, pal. And Gumshoe learned a not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Gumshoe's brain cell is continuing the only thing it knows how. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to be a waitress from now on and bring smiles and joy to the people who come by the restaurant, sir. I hope you'll stop by sometime, Mr. Wright. Yeah, bird, bird bride. <laughs> I'm Maggie like, Bird Bride. Bird bride yes. <laughs> I married a bird. Gumshoe wishes she was his bride. Mm. Mm. Cute. Mm. Oh, oh, so you here to be so patient? Mm. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Hardy, oh, recently, yes, that girl, you know, I haven't seen her around, yes. But I remember, even if I laid so much as an eye on her, it would go crack. <laughs> it didn't matter if I got whipped, though, yes. <laughs> yes. I hate it. Stop it. Okay, that's He's the so last. good at it. That's the last we see of him for a long, long time. Good. Excuse I'm me. upset that it's not forever. That implies he comes <gasps> back. Oh! <gasps> it's time to begin our quest for World Circus Diamond out there and let the world know we're serious. I plan to make a fabulous flight to Zimbabwe. Hey, Max, what do you think? Do you think there are castles <laughs> made of cake and bunnies who can talk? <laughs> uh, I think if there are any talking bunnies, even though they weren't laughing most jokes. <laughs> I didn't know I needed deep voice Regina until now. I'm ready. I'm ready. There's no way these jokes are going to fall on deaf ears. I'm going to be more con contemporary with my humor. Com uh, merc oh, fuck. Welcome to the Unlocked off. Get out of there. Dead was a secret god. I think I stepped out trying to read the paragraph. What's this? Try to an ordinary electric razor recharge. You got to stand. I can't believe this. Really? How long do they plan on making me do this? Ah, oh, but it's Edgy Pooh's idea, so that means it must have a deep hidden meaning. <laughs> but why do I get the feeling? They wouldn't forget about me, would they? Ah, oh, it was never like this in the old days. Everyone thought the world of me. They used to call me Queen Wendy, and they treat me like royalty and all of that, but this is gonna feel the pain in my heels. This they're gonna feel the burn. The burn of playing with fire is very dangerous. When they store the scenery, they burn my bird! <laughs> God, she's a great character. I want more of her. So good. <laughs> I love she, this she, you'll be happy to know she does appear in the next game. I guess! Nice. <laughs> Based. <laughs> I appreciate everything you and Mr. Edgeworth did for me from the bottom of my heart. Oh, that's right. I received a letter from Ms. Von Karma. She's pretty hot. I might call her. I'm really thankful to have met everyone, especially her. 
That's pretty much what that line said, though. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. There is, there is an illusion that that's what it is. I ship it. Yeah. I ship it. It has become difficult for me in this country as of late. As such, I will take a short leave of absence. If you would like to request my services, please be sure to visit my homepage. <laughs> May we both be blessed with longevity. Oh. It's very from hard living life as a radio. <laughs> <laughs> All we hear is Radio Gaga. You are now my next target. You are <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Shinji Mikami was a producer. March 23, 9.42pm. International Departures, Gate 12. This is Edgeworth. Where are you going, Francisco? How did you know I was here? With this. That's. I heard you were planting things on a certain person. Things like tracking devices in his coat, for example. Hmm. That's just like you. I only planted it there because he was always wearing it. This filthy, drab cult of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage. But it's going in the trash. I promise you that. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of that man, he told me something very interesting. When I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things in total, sir. Four things? It seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. He put it in here? It doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. What are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? Shut up. You don't understand a thing. You can't possibly understand what it means to be Manfred von Karma's daughter. Francisca. So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill. I'm expected to win no matter what. And failure? <laughs> Such a thing is not an option for me. My father was a genius. There's no doubt about that. But... But me. I'm no genius. I've always known that. But... I... I had to be one. I had to. You may not be a genius like your father, but you are a prosecutor. You have been, and always will be. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I've even thrown my whip away. Speaking of that, Wright gave me this to hold on to. Right. You knew something like this would happen, didn't you? I'm going to say this again. We prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you will think deeply about what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always... You've always left me alone and walked on ahead without me. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, I've always hated you. And then, finally, my chance to take my revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, if I could make Phoenix right bow down in defeat, and this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. I see. You know I can't do it. I can't change who I am 
I can't throw away everything I've been until today. I believe you can. Just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? You were going to use her during the trial, right? But you... You were dependent on your father by using his tactics. Isn't that right? <laughs> Today, you chased after me after I'd left you behind all these years. And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. But I have no intention of stopping. If you say you're going to quit your walk down the prosecutor's path, then this is where we part ways, Francisca Von Karma. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am Francisca Von Karma. Don't think I'm going to walk in your shadow forever. Our battle begins now. So you had better prepare yourself, Miles Edgeworth. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Also, isn't she like only 18? Yeah. Yeah, she's a youngin. Is she going to come back in the next game? I guess we'll have to see, won't we? Maybe. I want to know what that piece of evidence... Oh. That's pretty there weird, Fred. That's, that's cool. <laughs> that's what she drew when she was bored. Cute. Almost smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can be smart. It means everyone on the other side. Smart. <laughs> oh, Excuse that was a long life. one, but good job, guys. We made it through to the end of the second game. We started late too, but it was good. Yeah, yeah. fuck. We did it. And if, you, if you're all happy to stick around for an extra couple of minutes, I have something to show you. I would need to share my screen, though. That's all good. I'm probably just going to... Wait, is it like a stream thing, or do you want to show it privately? Um, I mean... It was I'm literally, the I, I, made, I made a gif of, of um, Pearl flying through space, but I can't convert it into an actual gif. So I have to play it in the art program itself. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, fuck it. Uh, join the Discord if you guys want to see it. I'm going to go raid someone. <laughs> uh, Fair. Which, see. This, which, this one or the one in your actual chat? Uh, well, uh, the, um, the, my Discord. The, the, the Discord okay. Discord. Okay. The Discord well, Discord. The Discord. I'm going to go to... Been. The chillin' one, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, Woo. I am gonna go raid Krusty. This is gonna be a very quick send off because I am fucking tired and I have been up for a while with very little sleep. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, see you Thursday for Jedi Fallen Order. Take care, have fun. Thank you for sticking by us through this fantastic game series so far. And uh, next Tuesday, we'll be back with the third game third game and honestly the best in my opinion but 100 percent 100 percent like everyone who plays with games the third game is just the absolute best third, yeah. third game is a fucking masterpiece but, universally loved by everybody but, but you, you kind of need the foundation the first two games set to really appreciate it which we have now done hmm. yeah go say hi to trusty i will see you on thursday and that's it i've been super dork goodbye everybody bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Wherever you are. Bye. Bye, yeah. bye, bye. Take care. Bye. I, st I, uh, I gotta wait six seconds before I can actually hit the raid button. <laughs> send, send your spot to the, the dog Discord. No, don't, don't, don't give my address send out. No, don't do it. Oh! <laughs>